Hello? Hello, my dear. <laughs> Space cadets. <laughs> I hope you are all feeling all right. Um, and I hope I will get you. <gasps> Hello? Hi, Silver. Happy, happy bee day buzzing. <laughs> Every uh, buzzing, I hope you get everything you wish for. I hope that you don't wish for me reading Homestuck because that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, uh, and I hope you get everything that you ever dreamed of except of me uh, reading Homestuck. Um, <laughs> but, uh, great game of choice. Oh, I've been wanting to play this game for a while. I got it, um, yeah, I think literally yesterday on Steam sale because I saw that it was like a 50 or 60% discounted. And I was like, yes, this is my time. I know it's not necessarily like a space themed game, but I really love the fact... I mean, my friend Clay played it, and I loved hearing when he told me... He told me stories, because he made me and a couple of other of our friends uh, into characters in his game. And, like, he was telling stories, because apparently it's like a, it's like a whole saga that's happening in this game. Um, so there's gonna be choices, there's gonna be things happening, so I want you guys to be involved, so it's possible that I'll be setting up polls sometimes to get, like, uh, input from you. Um, but we'll see. We start by making, uh, we're gonna start, I haven't started playing it yet, I only clicked through a couple of things. You will read it! Someday. Someday. Mark my buzzes. No! <laughs> it's enough that I've read the Lock Tomb series, which is apparently done by the lady who wrote fan fiction for Homestuck, who's been a great fan. And I heard that there are characters in Lock Tomb. Hello there, Angie. Hi, Goodman. I heard that there are characters in the Lock Tomb series that are directly inspired by Homestuck. So... <laughs> Homestuck hanging over Angie like the Sword of Democles. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a thing. Anyway, like I said, we need to make ourselves a team. So, I see we have the alert sorted again. Yes, no more bullying me. I fixed it. <laughs> well, when life gives you lemons. And I had my beautiful coat and everything. You know what? You know what? Okay, I will be a lemon, but I want my my flower crown back. At least dad, okay? Just let me have my flower crown. God. <laughs> I want to be someone with a spear. <gasps> we can do that. You know, we can do a lot of things. So, the name. It's gonna be... Let's start with buzzing. The, the birthday bee. Uh, how do you want, you want to be just buzzing? Or do you want to be, um, something, you won't be like greedy coward. We can change the gender. Um, it's, <laughs> what type of body do you want to have buzzing? And, and other, you want to be attracted to anyone in particular or do you want everyone? You will be someone with a spear, but let's... Big! <sighs> Which... Okay. I... I think... I think... Uh, they are relatively the same. You want boobs? To nobody if possible, you can be attracted to anyone or uh, one of the genders. However, we'll play you as, you know, not interested in those things. Because that's what we can do. Uh, voice. Mm. We'll change the face in a second, but like, what body do you want to have? 
doesn't matter. I wish we could have like neutral. None. Voice. Can I get a... Can I get a sample of the voice? Because... I'm not hearing anything. Okay. Head. I don't know what bees look like. <laughs> Do you want to have... <gasps> Hi, James! I, I'm a lemon. Yeah, that's my curse. <sighs> oh, I think this is a perfect fa for, face for buzzing. What? I could turn... But I don't want to turn off romances, like, isn't it that for everyone, though? Do we want to change romances for everyone, or... Because I know we can play buzz... Do you want to have a bus cut buzz? <laughs> Ear. Bold. What type of hair do you have? This is cute, though. Bus cut, yes. <laughs> you want bus cut? All right. We can make you a slightly longer. Mm. <laughs> lemon got a case of old lemongitis. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Bus cut for buzzing. Facial hair. You want any facial hair? Or not necessary. Also... Hmm. There are too many choices. I don't know what to choose. No, no hair. No hair on the face. Uh, colors, colors, skin color. Um, can I make you? Can I make you like yellow, <laughs> like a bee? It should be a slightly warmer color. I, I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> it's, it's gonna exist. Hair color, black because bee. Primary, primary color. Yellow. <laughs> it, aren't those like hex? Oh. Hello again! I'm back! Yeah? You want... Mm, what code do you want? A2, A2, O, O? Oh. Am I gonna make you your troll sona? Back with the cute blank? Yes. Is that. You know what? I can make you into your troll sona. Sure. Why not? <laughs> listen. Listen. No, I, I know what you're doing here. I'm simple B. <laughs> But I want to make you a... I want your clothes to be... to be... This... this does not look right. <laughs> Wait, maybe if I make this black and this yellow? Ah! Slightly better. Slightly better. You're liking a bee? But bee? <laughs> Buzzing! <laughs> buzzing. Do you like this bee? Buzzing. Size. Tall. You want big? I make you big. You can be... You can be... <laughs> White buzzing! <laughs> Wait. You want to be bee. But bees are... Short and stout. Biggest chungus. You want to be both... 
tall and wide? Okay, you can be big. Biggest. Name and details. All right. Uh, do you like the face? Should I change the face? Um... Also, relationships, history, history, uh, aspects. <gasps> so many things we can do. Face is fine. Okay, so let's, because I don't want to spend the whole stream just making, just customizing the characters. So let's just, relationships, no, custom, we did that. Stats, maybe let's go to that one last because, oh my god, I can edit text that's gonna be massive but let's choose the hooks so <laughs> clown <laughs> um clown <laughs> um wow uh, lucky loyal liter literary integrity inhabited gri gritty are you a what are you great <laughs> hook pirate? <laughs> There's no pirate hook, I'm sorry. <laughs> but <I laughs> uh uh <laughs> look right on the names and details page. There's setting for random romances for this character. Wait, you said wah 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 st uh, no, not stats. Wah. Right of the name. Wait. Name and details. Oh, here! Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Silver. Now I see. No romances and no children. We don't want children. Do you want children? <laughs> Hi, Zeus! Like the look for today? Tonight I am DMing and uh, I decided that to be a DM I want to be cozy and I want to be um, romantic, I guess. <laughs> but thank you, Silver. I found now. Yes, I see. I see. So no ra romances for buzzing. Uh, what were we up to? Uh, history. History. Are you a slacker? You are not a slacker. I remember your stories about that girl that was slacking on the job. So you are definitely not a You have integrity. And you have... I'm leaving the clown. <laughs> I'm leaving the clown because for real. Homestuck. <laughs> Homestuck. Um, potential proud. Thorny? Wild heart? What does wild heart mean, though? Brash, broken hearted clown, creative, curious. Curious, maybe. <gasps> Wait, maybe dreamer. Are you a dreamer? <laughs> My bird sign does align with the clown cast for the trolls. Ha! See? I <laughs> see right through you. Hmm. Like being inside and live in the city. Hmm. Maybe distant? Nah. I'm not reading you as distant. I'm reading you as a dreamer. You are a clown, a dreamer, but with integrity. Are you happy with that? Uh, when their hometown and all their friends were swallowed up by the, by a quake, Buzzing only felt lucky to survive and hated themselves for it. Oh no, disturbingly, they began to smile at the sight of broken things. Many wondered... What they exactly <laughs> do? Hello there. Hi, Octa! Hello! But I am just sitting far away from you. Physically, yes. But I would say that, um... Emotionally, we are not so distant. Howdy, 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 Octa. How are you doing? It's New Year soon. <laughs> uh, many wondered what they figured in 
that head of theirs, they claim to be chasing something or someone, but perhaps they were the one running away. Ooh, do you want to change anything about that uh, uh, flavor text buzzing? Also, why are you green? <laughs> are you an orc, maybe? I'm disappointed that I can't send, set like, um... Oh, wait! Enduring as a life, farmer, <laughs> clown, <laughs> dreamer, integrity, human. Why, why can't I change that? Maybe it changes something later. And these are your stats so far. Can I... Personality. Wait, can I change those things? Oh, I can! Okay. I think, honestly, I know you have snark, so you are gonna be snarky... Um... Goofball. <laughs> Yeah, honk. <laughs> um, I don't think you're greedy. Are you greedy? Hothead, maybe. Bookish, because you're constantly reading Homestuck and nothing else? I'm gonna put that slightly higher. Oh, uh, wait. Where's the bookish? Yes. But I don't think you're greedy. Loner. Hothead? Are you romantic though? I hey, I read other other things. Okay, so that's why bookish is pretty high. All right. Um, I don't think if I can change those things, but it's fine. Aspect. Okay, we do have that. You have a tunic. You are a young human clown. A young human clown who is a snarky goofball. I read a Metal Gear Solid 4 novelization. Have you read, um, have you read Fallout Equestria? <laughs> okay, we have buzzing. One of these things is not like the other. All right, let's do, who else can I do? Okay, uh, we have Octa in chat. We have Zeus, James, Silver, um, I was thinking also with making like poofy. I almost reset to someone yesterday and I want to read that. Have you seen have you seen those like physical copies that are that look like really nice editions? Like really nice books? I am amazed with the dedication of people. Make Octa. Octa <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourself, you're gonna be you're gonna be one of our main characters in the game. Do you want to go just by Octa or by your full name? You are also uh and what whatever body type and voice you want to have. And if you also want to have romances or not, so that would be that would be just Octa. Alright. So just Octa. Um, so what are your choices here? Let me know. In the meantime, I'm gonna set your color to... You have this, uh, purplish. Pur pur pur. You are light purple, right? Wait, no, your skin is green. But, but Octa is already green! Everybody's gonna be green in this team. Mint. Okay, slightly more bluish green, I would say. Yes. Good. I, I like this color. I like this color. But I'm gonna set up hair to like this purple because you have <laughs> green grocked up. <laughs> that sounds like an orcish name. <laughs> I think this, this, um, but I would make it slightly paler because I feel that it, it takes away from your beautiful face. Okay, primary color. It's also I would I would do this pur purplish, pink pinkish pinkish. Yeah. 
What's your other color? I th isn't it like? Wait, I need I need reference. I need reference for your for your face for your everything. <laughs> Octa. Oh my God, where do I have you? Mm, ah, there you are. Oh my God, but wait. Oh, you have like dark, darker purple as accents on your on your outfit. So let's do that. Yellow is an is an accent. Okay, I could do that. Secondary do yellow. But when you have your sh 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 what am I saying? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, okay, but I I just see that you want to have feminine body type. And I think I think buzz oh. Oh my god, sorry. I think Buzzig has feminine A voice, so you're gonna... Also, who are you attracted to? Everyone? No one? Men? Women? Do you want children? Mint, pink, and purple. Oh, okay. Everyone! <laughs> but for real, if you want romances, just tell me. If not necessarily, also tell me. Purple. Hmm. I think I like yellow better. I think it stands out a little bit here. <laughs> Octa's romancing all the people I'm not. <laughs> Balances out. <laughs> but I want this yellow maybe a little warmer. Yeah, but I think this is a nice accent for like overall thing. <laughs> face you have i think you have you yes this is a perfect shape for octa and you have um hmm, i like this one for octa it's it's i don't know it it seems a little like i i don't have words to describe it cheeky <laughs> Just like Octa. This is cheeky. This would be like determined. But I like this one. I like this one for Octa. Size. I would make Octa narrow. <laughs> but also relatively tall. Are you tall, Octa? And you are... Let's see your your history. You are curious, you have integrity, and you are loyal. Hmm, I mean, they are not bad. Should I change something? Hmm. Mysterious. Do you, ooh, I would, mm, I want to put creative. <laughs> smug face, yes. Octa be smug. Mm, I, I don't want to say, Octa, that you are disloyal, but I want to change that to creative. Integrity, maybe? <laughs> you also want to be a clown? You, we're gonna have a, a team of clowns? Flirt? <laughs> also, isn't it funny that you are a game character and I'm making a, ga a character in game for you? <laughs> Raised by merchant parents with plenty of money, Octa abandoned a promised spot in the family business to pursue a higher calling somewhere. They once came across a famous killer near Wartville, Blind, alone, and without obvious cause, the man cared for a colony of the forgotten old. 
art to let him be. Yes, they often ran from the past, but they found a weird and fitting justice facing death beside their friends. I don't understand this description. <laughs> Silver, have have a nice lurking. So, I want to change this. What does literary mean? Does that mean that they read a lot of books or that they take everything literally? <laughs> but I want to add mysterious. Yes, you are curious, creative, and mysterious. This is weird. I can, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna interpret because there is a, the, you can be weird, but I don't want to make you weird. I want you to be mysterious. <laughs> Aspects. Alive, farmer, creative, curious, mysterious, human, young. Unfortunately, I can't change this. Maybe later. But aloof coward? You are not an aloof coward. Where, where was it? Where is it? Personal, here. Okay, so. I think bookish at the top. Uh, Hot-headed? No. Roma I think Octa is romantic. <laughs> but not maybe like completely romantic. Poet. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> bookish poet. That's gotta be Octa. Yes. Okay, who's gonna be our third character? Um, Goodman, do you want to be a third character? If not, I'm gonna make Poofy. I I have a third spot here. I can make someone. <gasps> Zeus! Absolutely! Oh no, now I can, now, now I need to uh, roll a dice. You know what? And I have just a thing here. I don't know if you can hear, but I have I have dice here. Ah. I'm gonna roll a die. I have okay. Let's let's throw a d6. D6. So uh, I I have I can't really show you. <gasps> Wait, maybe I can. <laughs> Post on Twitter. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm gonna roll a die, and I'm gonna tell you. If it's if it's odd number, it's Goodman. <gasps> oh my god! If it's odd number, it's Goodman. If it's even number, it's Zeus. Alright. And wait, what did I say? <laughs> Welcome, Raiders! Wait, I'm doing a very important thing here. I threw a die. Please. Please focus. Oh my god. Can you like focus? It's 3. <laughs> Otto was Goodman. Right? Mm. Hello world of girl. How, how are you? Oh my god, I haven't seen you in a while. And hello raiders. Welcome, welcome. I am playing Wildermit right now, and I am making characters of my of my dear dear viewers here. Right now, we have a team set. Ah! I usually play indie games, so this is on brand. However, most of the time, I try to play like space-related games, so this is a little bit. Ah! Oh my God! Thank you, off brand. Hi, Philly. You're late. <laughs> doing wait what were you playing let me shout you out real quick what were you playing oh resident evil oh my god that game is too scary for me <laughs> twitch doesn't notify me when folks go live and other times it's been uh, who, who takes my time? B bean! <laughs> Be bean! Bean! Oh, understandable. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's so nice to see you. And everybody else who came with you. Hello, hello. Um, a chaotic demon. 
Well, that's lovely. <gasps> Hello, Gary. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, wait. So, uh, uh, odd one. I think that's what I said. So, uh, three is odd, right? Goodman, tell me how you want to look. How do you want to look and I'll make you. I'll I'll create you'll be my new creation. <laughs> Are you interested in any romances? Perchance? Burly. So do you, do you want me to keep oh I'm I'm got should I keep you masculine? I'm gonna. Attracted to anyone. <gasps> Romance. Romance, but Burley doesn't doesn't also sound that uh, it sounds like you also want facial hair. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and big. Everybody's in this. If everybody in this team is so big. What colors do you want to have? I can see that you. <laughs> Your name is purple, but I know I don't know if you want to be purple. <laughs> but what's your history? Supposedly, a spell was laid over Goodman's ancestors. According to legend, the boy of each generation would be born knowing who they'd marry. Oh! <gasps> Goodman never said whatever this was true, and though they said he must be a child of prophecy, little was proven false or true fond of high-hearted and hilarious literature he dreamed of writing his own someday <gasps> you want your face to be purple all right i mean we have uh, green we have mint you can be purple absolutely you guys are so beautiful this is gonna be so beautiful <laughs> What? Uh, ooh! I kind of want to make you have green beard. I can't believe you are supposed to be human. You, you are absolutely not human. This team, it's like, ah, yes, we are all humans here. I love this, honestly. I hope you don't look like any troll from uh, Homestuck. I feel like you might be looking like a troll from Homestuck. <laughs> but I hope it's not true. <laughs> uh, head and face. 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 How do I see you? I want to sneeze. Uh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah. <sighs> Even the color mint is reserved for Loomis. For Loomis? Mint is... I think Octa is mint, actually. Thank you. Oh. How do you do, fellow humans? <laughs> That's gonna be... Uh, I want to give, like, a determined face. Oh. Ooh! I like this one! Determined face. You are full of determination. Mm, I kind of want you to be a healer. Tell me if anything of, of what I'm choosing is incorrect. Potionomics reference wasted. <laughs> oh, Mint! Oh, you're so right! Oh, God, I didn't make that connection. <laughs> oh, you're going to be a leader. A leader, a healer, a poet. Compassionate leader! Oh, my God, I love it. You're going to be a compassionate leader. <gasps> Um, thorny, slacker, literary, mm. thorny, maybe, maybe, I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling the slacker. Oh, I want to make, I want you to be proud. Thorny, proud, and literary. I hope you're liking it aspects you have a tune oh, I think it's fine
Did I ask you? I didn't, did I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think that ha is gonna be... Oh, I, I, I'm liking the dynamic that's gonna happen here. Why do you have plus six human? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> you are more human than others? <laughs> Look at this color palette. I love it. I love it. We have a snarky goofball, bookish poet, and a compassionate leader. So let's start our adventure. Ah! This book. It's a book. Ooh, character sheets. You have no ability so far. No gear. Armor, basically none. What? Smoke at a brave gram. Okay. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. <gasps> it's 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 Goodman. <laughs> Maybe I don't survive the night. Then these words are for my friends. If you find me, be brave, buzzing. Octa. This is a warning, but where do I begin? Here in our Yondering country? Are those tentacles, uh, Octa, are those, those yours? Something in the woods is very strange. Oh, wait. I like this illustration of those weird, weird deer. Bothered only by aching legs, a young person named Buzzing takes the seasonal road to the town of Bravegram. How long would they believe me if I pretended I lost my voice? Huh? I bet I could get Octa going. Maybe not Goodman. Breeze is light that day. Birds are timid. <laughs> Plus six to human next turn. Roll for human check! <laughs> I mean, I know that in Vampire the Masquerade there's humanity, but like, I don't know if this is the thing. In fact, the whole world is taking a breath, ready to leap in the sea. I'm confused. I'm there already, huh? Here's the hard part, getting Okta out of bed! <laughs> Did I hear bad legs? Accurate. Oh my god. They'll probably be sitting up, blanket wrapped, staring out the window, gnawing a mouthful of old biscuit and telling me to consider the... I reckon with the... Hmm. That smoke. Fluttering flames roost among the far off rooftops. Buzzing hurries towards town, thinking of Okta, a young person whom they've known since childhood. Okta too cozy. <laughs> this is true! Too cozy for their own good. Oh, 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 buzzing. Do you choose rivalry? It's like I always tell them, your house will catch on fire someday. Friendship looks like they're starting fires again. Probably not romance. Octa, uh, not Octa, oh my God, buzzing. Is it friendship? Do you choose friendship? Do you choose a road to friendship? Or do you choose a rivalry? I wonder if there's like a... Two, not a ro friendship. Yes, okay. Octa? Tell me it wasn't you this time. Wait, is Octa like a fire starter or something? <laughs> Ooh! Oh. Okay, so green is how far we can go in this turn. Yellow is going to be in next turn. This is also true. Oh my god, Okta. <laughs> I don't think a random viewer starting beef with a streamer is going to end well. <laughs> okay, so... Let's, I mean, we only have movement. Let's get this far. 
And we want to avoid flames. Let's get here. Okay, let's see. Wagon. Wagon. <laughs> Octa in bed. The town on fire. Octa. Okay, five more minutes. <laughs> Wagon. What is that? That's a wagon. That's a potter's wheel. That's a tree. <gasps> I don't know what's there. Open door, yes, please. Their house still standing, at least. Octa, you're not all burned up, are you? At least they are knocking. Octa, they don't know. They don't know what. The door unlocks. Why is no one? Octa shoves it open. Hey, do you not smell the? I smell the smoke. Get inside. <gasps> Wait, you have a weapon? Slamming the door? What? Your bow? Yeah, my bow. The blaze is secondary. It's Doom's detail. Wah, 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 wah. Sorry. A herd of these hideous, afflicted looking beasts. Garrrr. <laughs> I love the off and on. Oh no, and you released the hounds. My god, it's all clear now. Octa is the one who burned my house down in 2019. Oh no. It's like a little tabletop. Right? It's so cool. They stamped it. They, they stampeded in. I managed to trap one behind the house. Small victory. Staying in her isn't really an option. Right, so here, I've got some tools around. You're stronger than I am, so you can swing something pretty good. I bet we can at least drive it off. Buzzing? Frying pan, pitchfork, or pickaxe? I, <laughs> I let the dogs out. Exactly! I feel... I have a weird feeling that Buzzing is gonna choose uh, the frying pan. But I give you this chip. <laughs> Pickaxe? Oh, okay. I mean, that's very sensible, honestly. It can be killed, right? If we're steady and methodical, we can manage it. Thing can't be invincible. Just don't take any dumb risks. <laughs> Minecraft pilled. I need to make a fan troll with a pickaxe. Oh, gosh. It's a row. Hoofs thrown sloppily around beneath it. It runs staggering, be bellowing its agony. Ooh. Kill the beast. Where, where the beast? Oh, wait. Octa said that it's behind the house. So I should probably get through here. Cooking pot. Hey. Ah. Uh, a taxi in Reno. Open door. Get outside. <gasps> Enemy revealed. Wait, I moved as Octa. I want... Oh, well, that's... Oh, reduce damage if we're standing next to each other. Okay. Okay, because you have closed ranged weapon. Stand here. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get here. And yeah, let's shoot it. <gasps> Powerful. Oh no! Octa, I'm so sorry you took some damage. I hope you won't die. What is this? Corruption. Oh my gosh. Strike! KO, I guess. When the portal to hell is the oven, that's why I don't bake. <laughs> I mean, I said it a number of times that baking is basic, basically like alchemy. 
Don't take any dumb risks. You're already a Homestuck fan. You can't afford any other bad decisions. <laughs> Buzzing is now a Greenhorn Warrior. Thundering challenge. Once per combat, as a swift action, Buzzing frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend their next turn running away. Blood Rage. Passive. Buzzing's melee and range attacks deal more damage based on the percent of health they're missing, up to a max of plus 4 damage. Brock swipes, Buzzing's melee attack deal 2 damage to all other foes within range. Yes, you kill, but like, also, uh, also what, what type of damage you want to deal, Buzz? I was thinking like, I think Blood Rage, I would be a fan of Blood Rage in all honesty, but what, how do you feel? Warriors like Buzzing are built hardy, enduring with a natural aptitude for battle. They develop powerful techniques for close combat. Not rage, I'm light, not rage. Then maybe broad swipes? Or do you want thundering challenge? It's an active talent, so we can activate it. It's it's basically you're gonna be yelling at people. Do you want to yell at people or do you want to have a range additional? Thunder. Okay, let's yell. Octa hunters like Octa thrive in the wild, surviving through stealth and peerless archery. They master their surroundings and bring down large quarry. Rogue, every time Octa kills an enemy, they enter Grey Plain for three for free, becoming hidden. <laughs> oh yes, I love shouting. <laughs> good, 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 good. You're gonna be shouting at enemies. Octa's melee and the range attacks apply two hobbles to the enemy, which reduces their speed. Th through shot? Octa fires a cleverly placed arrow that will pass through the first target and hit the next target in a line, dealing minus one damage to the second target. Honestly, I'm loving the last one, but Octa, I give you an... Uh, you, can, you can also choose have an input on what you want. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a sip. Sippy sip. I can pick. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe let's choose the... No, this one. I like this one, so let's choose this one. <clears throat> Ooh, Fern Shadow Brooch. Dodge 5. Oh, I'm Octa, honestly. You get it, because you are... You already got some damage, and you are a rogue. Buzzing is gonna be the tank for us. What kind of suffering did that poor beast endure? At least it's done. The creature's death is quiet. It seems to slip from life in a few stunned, hazy blinks. They'll spend a piece of the day getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Town folks emerge from hiding to fight fires and clear debris. Some full of curiosity, others visibly haunted by what, it, what they've seen. We should go. Goodman, Goodman is alone. Unless you think... I mean, I'm not sure who is safer suddenly. Goodman? He's at that ruined tower by now. Kind of an outsized hike, given our late start. Maybe, but the later start won't help. Goodman will be waiting for us. What happened today could be happening everywhere, couldn't it? <laughs> Putting holes in people. Hell yeah! Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's like when you get apple skin in your teeth. <laughs> That's a weird comparison. <laughs> I'm 
sure it's fine. Absolutely. Yeah, you've been waste. You've been at the creepy tower whole night alone, and you even left a goodbye letter to to Octa and Buzzing. Hmm, I can feel that analogy. It's unpleasant, huh? Yeah. Anyway, I just think we said we'd meet him. We should. The tower. The tower in the hills. You've been there? Yeah, once. Actually, looking at the tracks, they come and they go that direction. Buzzing and Octa follow the pounded path to monstrous feet, hoping for the beasts and dreading every other possibility. <gasps> no! Choose. Okay, Octa, do you want to be rivals? Friends? Romance? <laughs> Remember Goodman, the other total human? Yeah, absolutely. A full human. Like a webcomic generated story with tabletop RPG fights. Yeah, but I also, you know, your characters are gonna level up and change. You can even see that your character now has a brooch that I've given you, which is so cool. Friends! Let him be alive, alive and unhurt. A wordless while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You've known Goodman longer than I have. He's pretty capable, I feel like. Oh, yeah, Goodman's maybe too focused sometimes, but he doesn't often disappoint me, you know. Weird things do tend to happen around him, but I would say he's probably up there now. Figuring things out. Surrounded by weird creatures! Find Goodman at the old tower. Ah! Ooh. In order to find sites in the wilderness, heroes must scout the land, which makes time. Click on unscouted tile to show the scout action. Okay. Hmm. Seven days away, eight days away. Choose a hero from the list. I choose everyone, I guess. Let's go. Oh, 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 God, but I'm so sorry. You've been sitting in the tower for at least a week alone. The tower where Goodman had arranged to meet Buzzing and Octa is a place he often used to escape to as a boy. He knows its rooms and floors so well, he could survive being chased through them. And now I wait, I suppose. <coughs> Why do you cough? Dust gets deep as rain... Wait. Dust gets deep as rain puddles in here. <coughs> Plenty of time to read. Finish the entire Warrior Cat series while waiting. Good. A good choice. Alive is alive. Better have a plan if that beast breaks through. Oh. <gasps> You don't mean any of this, do you, beasts? Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> You're trapped in whatever sickness has changed you. The tower is an heirloom of an earlier people. The locals have lost the legend of it. Now it's little more than a strange nest of spiders, owls, and th thirsting lovers. Th thrusting? I don't know that word. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges am amid the bones of failure is often the dream that drove it. The language in these uh, stories is pretty hard for me. <gasps> Ooh, books. Do you have Marvel comics? That book. Why have I never... Oh, <laughs> Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, beast? I'm also wondering. Goodman bends to pull it loose. Oh! A, a thrist? Is that how you say it? It's a secret meetup for lovers, more or less. Oh! <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> 
And this is how uh, Goodman found the Necronomicon and became uh, a Cthulhu follower. <gasps> Wait, maybe we can make it into a story. Like you became uh, uh, not necessarily like a sorcerer or a wizard, but maybe instead you'll be a, um, what's the, what's the other thing? God! When you have a pa pa a god! Tr Trist? Pa patron. Wait, I need to hear it. I need to hear it. I'm sorry for those that don't know. English is not my native language. So sometimes I may... Trist. Trist, okay. Like Trist, Tristan. Warlock, yes. That was the word I was looking for. Warlock. Cultist, yeah. <laughs> Paladin? Mm. Isn't Paladin kind of a warlock? <laughs> simp. <laughs> a simp for a higher being. It's not a commonly used word, so that makes sense. But Goodman, are you ready to become possessed? To become possessed? It's a Wilderman. I was hoping it's gonna be like, uh, uh... What's the name? Wait, the King in Yellow has this, this... Play. I think it's called the King in Yellow, basically. Hastur has uh, that story that everybody, when they read, they go insane! The book's heavier than its slender spine suggests. Look at all this! It's full of strange stories, the folklore of folk long forgotten. Oh no, the lore book has mine of its own. I don't have time to read the, read the index. <laughs> Circles of the Ancients. It's wild nonsense. How a woodcutter can read the rings inside old trees to find the exact moment a grove began calling itself a forest. What? Chant of the soil? Lacks any satisfying action? It's told through the mind of a blind, deaf tea grower. His nose is so sharp he learns the song of the scented earth and so avoids slaying worms with a shovel. Huh? The brave grand magician says a magician was born who banged solid th solid rings together so stubbornly that they joined and by this method she connected all the stories ever told i'm so confused the one in or on Carco yes exactly the one in on carcosa and you can see goodman's mind expanding third eye opening Goodman reaches the last word of the final tall tale. A few blank pages are left. This book. Something in him feels like it's coming loose, but he can't tell exactly what. <laughs> That's a lot of stories to speedrun. <laughs> There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. This is a warning, but where do I begin? Here, in our yondering country, Goodman writes, words are ready. Omens have formed in the fabric of everything, and he's beginning to recognize them now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through his body like the sourceless aches one wakes with. One wakes with. Ah... Others are more substantial. Now they seem light, lightly plain, light, lightning plain? A promise of thunder. For in the wild black woods where birds once belled, a hateful silence churns. <gasps> it is Cthulhu! Pain light, lights Goodman's head, subsides. I made it to morning? He lowers his blurry eyes. 
His story lies before him in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Why do I feel powerful? <gasps> he pulls the spoon from his pocket. He slides a branch from the rubble. It's sturdy. It has a palm-loving twist. Well, 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 I think... I think this is where we choose uh, the special... your specialty. Do you want a staff? Do you want to be Gandalf? Or do you want to be Sam Gamgee? <laughs> I don't- I don't know what this spoon is supposed to be! Are you gonna be a magical cook? <laughs> but which one do you prefer, Goodman? A spoon or a staff? A stick? That's not morning, that's the shine of Carcosa. <gasps> I knew it. A magical cook, the secret ingredient death. <laughs> Do you want it for real? I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad choice. You, we have a warrior, a hunter, and I guess you will be. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Born with a wooden spoon. Open wide, beast. I'm getting out of here. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Ladle to hell! Oh, this one is cool! It's a boar! A rager. It charges without seeing. Mis misshapen tusks swinging wildly. Oh, let's see. Anvil. Torches. Ooh. Barrel. Wait, can we... It Infuse? Mingle the mystic's life energy with a blaze or a piece of scenery. Infuse targets grant vision and can be used for further purposes. Ooh, this is nice. Loom. <clears throat> Wait, I don't want to attack scenery. Can't I, like... I don't want to move. I wish... Wait... Maybe we can find something. Let's try. Uh, maybe let's try infusing this so we'll see what's in this room. <gasps> yes, the enemy revealed. Infuse with an object, then use the object to attack. Oh my god, that is so cool. Use the infuse ability to connect with fire or scenery. Different types of scenery give different effects and abilities. Many of these let you use the scenery to damage em enemies. Menemenes. Okay, attack. Shark. What? Lay traps of shards on the floor like shark fins spinning and. Di yeah? Let's do. Le it's gonna char charge here, probably. So yeah, oh, it's it's looking for us. Okay, let's make another shark trap, maybe here. Okay, I think. <gasps> ha ha! Look how smart we are. But I'm, um, ooh, let's try to infuse infuse with this. And steel fire. The restless fire is unleashed onto nearby tile. Burning where it lands and dealing half them. Can we do can we go there, for example? Because I want to block the entrance for this monster. Oh, it burns quickly, okay. What if I want to attack this barrel? Five damage. I was hoping that maybe there is something inside. Loom. Torches are out. Anvil. I'm kind of worried. Yeah, these mechanics are neat, but I think we need to show ourselves a little bit. But we also block that monster there. Ha ha ha. 
Hmm. Let's try infusing maybe that bookshelf. Ha ha ha. Splinter Blast, two damage. Yeah. Oh no. Oh wait, it died. Oh, we made it. A victory. You are a green horn, green horn mystic. Indignance, Goodman's presence is charged against charged against his foes, dealing one true damage to hostile creatures who enter adjacency with him for any reason. <gasps> this is cool. Advanced interfusion. Passive. Allies may wall with interfused objects. Stone. Passive. Grants extra armor, warding, and temp health. Active rock shield. Bone. Bone wall. <laughs> you can make a wall of bones. Cool. Ignite. Once per turn, as, si as a single action, Goodman pulls motes of heat out of the air and gathers them into a single point, creating an, an infused blaze on a tie with debris. Ooh, they are all ve very good. Do you have any preference, Goodman? As a mystic, Goodman has acquired the knack for interfusing his spirit with earthly things, drawing on these bonds to enact formidable magics. This is so cool. Bone wall? <laughs> you want bone wall? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, then it's the middle one. <laughs> You're going to be formidable. Scarf of Grace. Oh, you have more dodge. Yeah. Claiming gear is permanent. That's going to be useful for you. More monsters roam the ruined halls and rattle the rotting furniture. Snort. <laughs> but Goodman moves quietly, sensing his way in the dark. Daylight lands on his wrist. Cool wind soothes his tired eyes. I gotta go help out my dad for a bit. We're building a handmade wooden dice tower. Oh, that sounds so cool! And also on topic with the with the stream right now. <laughs> I trust you with my character. I will I will take care of them, Octa. I will lead you to glory. At least I'll try, but have fun and please share the pictures of the uh, of the dice tower later. I'm very very curious. It's still the same world. He closes the tower door, gentle, not to make to make no noise. That was the mystic's art that I did, right, tower? Where did I get it from? Could I? Could it just happened? Is it just one of those things? Things a man's born with that might blossom in his life when he needs them? Maybe I can't know, but I can already feel the responsibility. Because as you know, with great power comes responsibility. Goodman? It'll be useful if I figure it out, of course. Hopefully I'm not endangering anything. Goodman, you all right there? Hey, Goodman, something happened? Hmm? Uh, yeah, uh, I forgot you two were coming. I'm sorry, I just had the weirdest night and day and Buzzing and I only barely made it. Yeah, see that smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's Bravegram. It burned? Roar! <laughs> Things are different than they were. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever seen something quite like this. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. Huh? Okay, well, I do magic. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. They are just they are just trying to outdo each other. Oh, stretching. Don't mind if I do. Give me a moment. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is a good one. Thank you, Zeus. Also, prepare from some ASMR. 
Oh, but honestly, guys, I have to admit, I had a pretty active day. <laughs> to be honest, I was falling asleep, and I honestly thought the monologue was, I'm out of this tower, time to make a dice <laughs> Yeah, I'm out of this old tower. Let's make a new tower. <laughs> With blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Active days are good. In moderation, of course. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, in moderation. My, my, my... What is it called? Like, smart watch? Smart band? Told me that I did 11,000 steps today. <sighs> Long walks with puppies and like errands to run, cleaning to do before tomorrow because it's gonna be cooking day tomorrow. That's a lot of steppies. Yeah, I, I be stepping a lot. Ah. Uh. All right. You've discovered a new site. It's still under enemy control, though. Click on the banner to assault it. Oh, it's this one. What is this? Goodman has no tasks assigned? How do I assign a task? Oh, this is your XP, probably. Hmm. Stats. Guardian, Thundering Challenge, mm -hmm. Monster Skilled 1, huh? <laughs> okay, but how can I assign you... How can I assign you with a task? Maybe I can't yet, so maybe that's gonna be later. Anyway, let's fight! <laughs> the infamous dice tower. Yes, let's go assault the infamous dice tower. Will you guys get mad if I knock? I'm very polite. <laughs> A perfect understanding isn't likely to emerge. What these beasts are, where they came from, what drove them to attack the town of Bravegram. But letting them nest here feels, feels like a wrong idea. Wait, we... Were we supposed to be thinking of a plan? That's embarrassing. Sure, well... Ooh. Back at my house, it was pretty simple. Kill the beasts before it kills you. This is courage, stoicism. I just came out of there. If we're methodical, patient, we can fend them off at least. Hmm. Hmm. I am a little surprised that Okta, the one who is a hunter, is selling, let's just charge them. A hunter who is supposed to be like, you know, patient and and thorough because that's what you gotta do when you're a hunter. Uh, but yeah, I think it's uh, it's on brand with good... I would expect this more from buzzing, honestly. Hmm. I kind of want to go with... Goodman's because it feels like more in character but Okta I give you uh, wait no Okta is away I'm supposed to so no I'm gonna go with stoicism all heroes plus one armor oh for raccoon and row scrambling through shadows it's barbed appendages eagerly twitch ew I don't want to get near your ap appendages. Every hero starts out with two action points every turn. Different abilities have different cost. All right. Okay. Okay, so we need to get inside, definitely. Goodman... Mm, I was hoping that... Let's start with our tank. Buzzing. How much health do you have, honestly? You have eight health. 
Yeah, you have the most health, so you're gonna open the door. Oh, beasts revealed. Hmm. Answer turn and wait for an enemy to come within the range, hitting up to one enemy. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Now it's Octa. And let's put Octa. Wait, how much health does Goodman have? Six. Okay. But you have. You've got some damage. Let's go here and we can attack the stag there we go and good man you can in in interfuse with the torch and you can illuminate oh illuminate oh no i was hoping that maybe you could throw fire Yeah, let's illuminate. Okay, sure. Maybe next round we'll be able to throw fire. And... Wait, we can? Ooh. Yeah, let's try doing that. Ooh. Burn the raccoon! But now we have... Oh, wait, it died. Thank God. Aha! Oh my God, we are so good at this, guys. Scream friend and enter. <laughs> Buzzing yells at the door and opens in fear. <laughs> oh, I love doors. Barbarian with a bow. <laughs> Need to uh, step away for a moment. Sure, no worries. I'll be here. Ooh. A better replace farm bow. <gasps> well, that makes sense. You're gonna be more powerful that way. Ho oh ho. Slender Oak Song. Ooh, that's a nice name. I like it. Let's li let's leave it as it is. Shield. Ooh, perfect for buzzing. I don't know buzzing if your uh, Trollsona has a shield, but now you have a shield. The last misshapen creature folds its bones and dies. Blue fluids darken the dust. Just blood, I suppose. Corrupted blood? Corrupted is a heady word. Hey, look at us. Look at what we did. Yeah! <laughs> Chad, what kind of shield do you like best? I'm a big fan of tower shields. Dice tower shields? <laughs> Day drops, day rises. Dusk is sweet. The sunrise sweeter. It's not long before they've cleaned up. Uh, they've cleaned the tower up a bit. Well, okay. I hope from monsters and not just dust. We'll be working on this place forever, I'm telling you. Someone's got to keep fighting. On our roads, our hills, in our, wi in our wild places. <laughs> okay. The threat will only grow. We all feel that. We feel it in the air. We feel it in the water. <laughs> Let's not wait to be overrun. We are a company of heroes now. Hell yeah. We'll walk the land. We'll fight. People need us. We'll give, give ourselves a name and make sure it's one they'll sing. Sounds like you've thought about this. Oh my God. We got to name the company, guys. Will be called Foxes North. Well, how about the Harbingers of the Arrow? Maybe the Promise of Peace? Or maybe we enter Team Snart. I love, I love Team Snart, honestly. Also a tower fan, but kite shields are cool too. Mm. Honestly, I've never thought about shields because I... Um, I personally usually f usually fight as uh, rangers or rogues. I prefer like stealth and uh, and and finesse, I guess. Uh, 
I love Team Snart, honestly. After that, the three of them are inseparable. Rumors are rampant. Heroes are needed. This world will be, will be flooded in sorrows, but its defenders are joined by a fire that night. <laughs> Here follow the tales of Team Snart. Be remembered. <laughs> calamities! Your enemies improve their strategies after every fight. View current calamities? Ooh. Okay, I don't know what that is, but cool. Gorgon. A new card is added to the Gorgon deck. The deck is more dangerous now. Okay. Okay. Tutorial complete. Imagine uh, punching someone in half with a kite point. Yes, that is that is absolutely useful in my opinion. The leg get wait legacy points get legacy points by taking new sites. Spend legacy points to do like to do things like recruit heroes, build stations, cancel calamities. Use them wisely. Wait, recruit heroes? There can be more of us. I wonder if we can make like a bigger team or maybe um have or maybe when somebody dies to replace them. Once a site is free of enemy control, you can spend time to secure it. Secured sites provide resources now and at the end of each chapter, which you can use to craft gear at a town or between chapters. Recruit uh, someone at Brave uh, Brave Graham wishes to join Team S <laughs> Team Snart. <laughs> Wait, we can get Zeus. Um. Secure. Hard to crack a smile for some reason. Secure uh, Colisa Boast. This site can provide resources now and at the end of the chapter. Spend resources to upgrade weapons. Choose. Um, investigate thoroughly. Catalog everything. Fix what's broken. Leave it at that. Find an item or work faster. Hmm. I want to find an item. A team to come through the to mess at Colissa Boast to restore its purpose and luster. <gasps> I think I'm gonna go for tonight. All right, sleep tight, Zeus. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thank you for the stream. I will, and you will be our next hero. <laughs> I'll tell you all about your your adventures later. Hard to crack a smile for some reason. It's called depression. <laughs> oh god. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what's happening. Huh? A thorough delving through the mysteries of Callistic boast has proven rewarding. I was mostly just messing with stuff, to be honest. <laughs> Calissibos will return to the hands of the common folk while they tended. The site will provide resources at the end of the chapter. Cool. Hides, ingots, spell threads. Ooh. <gasps> and we have a cloak. It adds health. Ooh, who wants a cloak? Hmm, I mean, Goodman has the least amount of health. But buzzing is a uh, is a tank, and they should. But maybe we're gonna. The cloak sounds more like, like something for a ranger, or, or a magician. For buzzing, I think it would be better to get like a, like a proper. Armor. I think I think I'm gonna give it to Octa. Yeah. You look stylish. Ooh, but it also looks good on Goodman. Mm. <laughs> that spoon is just so adorable. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think Goodman because he he's he's the weakest. We maybe not the weakest. This the squishiest. <laughs> And I 
want to secure this location, so I think let's scout in here. Yeah, let's scout the the bottom place. And then we're going to move to the city to maybe hire Zeus. And when we hire Zeus, then we can like split the team because I don't want to send Oh! <gasps> Rus Ruspy's blacktop has been revealed. Okay, and there's some enemies. Strength three. Is it too much for us? Tech. <gasps> Did you see the huge moth that landed in Buzzing's hair earlier today? How could I not? And you weren't going to say anything? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at that face. <laughs> Friends, am I right? What's wrong with the mo was it a mothman? It was the moth. It was a mothman. Or is it also something related to Homestuck? They walked around with that thing sticking out at a jaunty angle for like an hour, and you guys didn't say anything. Ha ha. Hey, tell me a story. Huh? You're the one with the stories, right? I need to play Fallout 76 again for Mothman reasons. <laughs> Wait, why is Octa sad right now? Well, what would you like to hear? Tell me the one about the trickster moon. How about the fire king at the raindrop? Nothing too fantastic, just tell me something that happened to you. Hmm, <gasps> these are some nice choices. I'm interested what what is a trickster moon, but I'm also interested about Octa. Trickster. <laughs> yeah, I'm also interested about the trickster moon, so maybe let's go with that. Hmm. Octa told how the moon used to be a dark hunk of stone until it tricked the sun into giving up some of its light. And the sun, as you always suspected, can't stand the thought of anyone approaching a fraction of his brilliance. The moon knew that a fair fight was out of the question. So while the sun was distracted, the moon fled over the horizon, drawn by a team of fireflies. And to this day, they take refuge in the night sky, shining where the sun will never find them, giving their blessings to those who, swiftly, who move swiftly through the shadows. I could just say words and you get suspicious of them. You would never know. I could say the word bungus and you would suspect it's from Homestuck. Yeah, absolutely. I am, I am like, every time you say anything, I suspect it's a Homestuck reference. <laughs> a moon. Goodman and Octa gain temporary speed from moon. They, oh, oh my God, what are those? Okay, we have some monsters. Um, ooh, stone, partial cover. Uh, what is this? It's a lamp? Carap carapace lab? Ah. Okay, let's maybe light the lamp. Maybe it will help? Hmm. Extinguish lamp. Silk step? Oh. Swap a weapon. No. I think we're fine, but let's wait. Can you fuse? Oh. Huh. No. Maybe let's move next to Octa. Open door. Okay, so far so good. I think we're relatively safe. Th 
I want to say that's not a Homestuck reference, but I don't know. Lantern, partial cover. You know what? Let's move maybe here. Up, 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 up. Buzzing. Bazinga. Can you... No, you can't open the door. Oh, oh no. Oh, but maybe we can do... Oh, we can do the shot! Into two enemies! Ooh, noise. Goodman, you can interfuse with rock, maybe? Rock shield... A stone disc launches at an enemy or scenery and then ricochets to another nearby enemy. <gasps> that sounds awesome. Discus. Yes, I think we're gonna get rid of one enemy. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So much damage! Buzzing frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend their next turn running away. Uh, let's do this. Let's do a shot at this guy. Dodged, god damn it. Flank an enemy with an attack 90 degrees or more from previous. Oh, okay. Um, let's do another disc. Okay, one dead. Uh, you move here so you can defend Okta and heal this guy. <gasps> Dodged? Curses. No! <gasps> no! Oh my god! Choose. Okta dies. Oh no! I promised Okta will take care of them. Minus 15 accuracy this campaign. <gasps> you lose an eye? Octa feels their way back to safety. There's so much they still have to live for. So much ahead of them if they can't make it through today. Others have feared worse. At least I survived. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Have a hero. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Okay. Just die, you stupid creature! Okay, we still have the big one to deal with. I should have used this thing. Oh no. Okay, it's terrified. Good. Who gets a torch? Um, Octa, I guess. Oh no! Octa? You in there? Remember how he used to wonder what we would do if one of us fell? Lose as many limbs as you like, just don't die, remember? I'm feeling kind of weird about saying that now. Anyway, I'm glad we're still both here. If you need anything, let me know. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Sleep well, pal. You're gonna need it. Um, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Octa. Okay. Let's secure it. Our job isn't done until we've restored what our enemies left in tatters. Burn what's not useful. Get it ship shape. 
No. Investigate. Catalog everything. Okay. <gasps> Octa is returning to the town. Oh, that makes sense. They need to heal. Infested tiles are unsafe. Infestation increase the strength of the source threat. Can ambush groups? Okay. You can clear infestation by taking out the source or sending group of heroes to patrol on the tile. Oh, where? Okay, we only secured half. Let's continue. Octa has returned to action. Oh, cool. Octa, maybe you're gonna recruit somebody. Yeah. You recruit! <gasps> Let's make Zeus. And... Yeah. <laughs> How do I make Zeus? Yes, I like this. <laughs> hmm. I hope Okta gets to use a magic laser from their missing eye. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe they'll get it. Hmm. Let's give Zeus a cool hairstyle oh ooh, i like this one but no facial hair though oh, colors colors what color is zeus likes what colors do you wait what's her what's her color in chat zeus what's your color in chat She has orange. Hmm. Hmm. With having somebody who's green, mint, and purple, I feel it would be on brand to maybe make make her like. But or mm, yes, let's make her. Oh, I like this color. It's more yellowish, but I like it. And her hair. I know that she had like blue hair once <gasps> beautiful primary color mm. what color fits this let's let's make her blue and and yellow <laughs> <sighs> or maybe you know what I feel like maybe Maybe red would be better? Yeah, yeah. Size. Tiny. <laughs> Stats. Zeus was born at sea! The rhythm of the rock of the ship rocked her to sleep. A rough strong beast hunter took her under her wing taught Zeus all she knew about seeking dangerous prey, also something of the passion of lonesome people. Nostalgic, lucky, gritty. Hmm. Hmm. Nostalgic? Lucky and gritty. Hmm. Let's make her... I want to leave Lucky. I think we're gonna add... I think we're gonna add... Nostal... You know what? You know what? I'm gonna leave Nostalgic, but Gritty... I want to change Gritty to something. Creative? Also, look, <laughs> look at an axe. Jesus. <laughs> Marge Simpson getting down to business? No! No, she she's not Marge. Uh, stats. Okay, I, th 
like, honestly... Ro oh, I, I forgot to change that thing. Um, where was it? Stats here. Romantic poet. She is a... Romantic poet? No. Poetical romantic? No. <laughs> hmm. Loner, healer, leader, coward, bookish? Snark? Hot hothead, maybe. Romantic hothead! Oh, I love it! Or we can change it to hot-headed romantic. Yeah, I like I like hot-headed romantic. Absolutely. Wait. Relationships. Customize. Yep. Hmm. Cost oh, it costs legacy points to hire somebody. Oh, okay. Let's recruit. It didn't take long to track back to Brave Graham, and, and the town still seemed like the best bet for finding another able pair of hands. Nod. Huh? Wait! Huh? It's you! From... from the heroes? The right... Anyway, I was hoping you'd come back. Everything alright? Oh, everything's fine, and that's just it. It's been quiet in Brave, Brave Graham so far, so... But I heard those things you said. The talk of becoming beloved figures of legends. And it stuck with me. More than I would have thought. Is that how we put it? I suppose forming a company of heroes can get on a little... Can get one a little fired up. You were right, though. You imagine how you want people to remember you, if they'll even remember you. And what you're doing, it feels like how I might want to be remembered. I thought you said romantic pothead! <laughs> I mean, I know people like that as well. Well, we could use another fighter on our side, if you're up for it. Oh, fantastic! I'm glad you offered. Not the most heroic start to a career, having to beg for the job. Now is it? Far be it from us to turn you down, then. <gasps> um, okay, okay, honestly. Um, I think train Zeus as a warrior, a hunter, or a mystic. Um, considering that Octa lost an eye, um, I don't think they'll be very good with a bow anymore, so I think we're gonna go with a new hunter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Octa. I'm sorry. Uh, gather. Wait. Why isn't... Wait, why isn't... Oh, prepare recruit. Okay, so Octa will prepare the recruit. Yeah. Okay, these... <gasps> a thorough delving through the mysteries of Jankum breath has proven rewarding. Time for pie! <laughs> Provide resources at the end of each chapter. Cool, cool, cool. And we have Cloak of Divinity, and it gives us war... Oh, oh! Hmm. Warding. Octa, maybe? I don't know what warding is, though. Absorbs magic damage. Ooh, okay. And you guys... Maybe you can... Scout here. And then you will meet together here. Ambushed! Oh no! For a moment the woods fall utterly silent. The moss gr griddled trunks begin quivering thoughts become audible wild pounding feet moving fast gorgons good man you came back real quick oh gorgons approaching if we're swift we can rush by them got to be patient to escape effectively okay it's sem uh, temporary damage tem tem temporary Blade. I'll set fires. Chaos can be an ally. 
double stunt percent count as you go most kills win <laughs> um hmm. let's go with let's go let's go let's go with fire Fire engulfs dry timbers, tickles the trunks of trees. Escape will be a dire lit, red lit run. <laughs> okay, it might have been a bad idea, but let's go! Retreating, escaping. Retreating may sometimes be the best option when overwhelmed. However, for non-plot missions, retreating will not grant XP. Okay. I think we're fine for now, though. Uh, let's do this. Uh, you move here. And... Guardian. Yeah. You move here. And you will... You will... Interfuse with rock. And... The plant sends out tendrils and grab... That grab and draw in an enemy, dealing damage and pinning them. Oh, ooh, can we try that? Yes! Oh, dodge! God damn you! Oh! Hmm. Let's go with you first. And maybe let's try to fuse with the blaze and fire leash them both. Haha! -ha. And the raccoon is down. Let's fall back and guard. Yeah, let's let's do the thundering thing. And now Goodman, do the fire. Oh, you can't do the fire again. So, wild grass this thing. Yes, three damage. Ha ha. And it's dead. Noise. Ha ha ha. Let's continue, continue scouting here. Okay, I think we'll have a recruit ready soon. Zeus is now a hunter. Crippling strike, throw shot, thorn fang. Once per turn, Zeus is refunded an action point after a melee kill. Ooh, but I want crippling strikes, honestly. And now you guys, can fortify the set against enemy it takes time you know what let's mm, gather send a party to this style yeah send you there okay this one has been revealed and we can assault it but just the two of us that might be Seven days until next calamity? That sounds horrible, honestly. At least we have this town here secured. Should we... Assault? Or maybe gather everyone on this tile? But waiting is also not very productive. But we are doing pretty great with the two of us. So let's, let's try. Let's try. Old formed caverns stretch beneath well of Tom. <gasps> Let's walk closer, right, buzzing? Only his own buck barking echoes. Answer him! No, they got lost! Buzzing? Buzzing! Retracing his steps in the dark, Goodman searches for any sign of his friend. And he will soon find an off branching path slashed in the cave wall, perhaps by ice. An almost triangular crevice, and beyond is a tight, twisting tunnel. Below the coldening ground in the fungal glow. Yep, yep, yep. 
This is exactly the thing I ought to be doing by myself, me and the unspooky mushrooms. <laughs> oh no! Oh, and the treasure key, which is, I suppose that this is, under blade sharp stones, a wider space, a firmer shine. There's a powerful smell, a heart smell, the heart of the mountain. And at first glance, Buzzing thinks a massive gray man is hunched over a blue-white flame. But they realize... Hey! What... Are you? Yeah, what is that? Smooth contours, perfect edges, carved? Not by tools any hands have held. Got to be the biggest paperweight I've ever seen! Huh. And I do wonder if there's a reality in which I don't at least pluck at the gemstone. Buzzing? Well, I mean, you're practically daring me. Really, though, no, what would I even do with it? Buzzing, I give you the choice. Do you... Do you pry the gemstone? Or do you pay an honor and leave? Hmm? Oh god, you're gonna die. And what am I gonna do? It's your birthday! You don't die on your birthday. Wait! Oh, wait, the second one. So pray, pr pay the respect and go, right? Wait, I got confused. You don't pry it all. I hope I chose the right one. I'm sorry if I... Wait, can I go back? No, I can't. I'm sorry. Bird die? <laughs> Have I chosen the right one or did I get confused? I hope I chose the right one. You. I hope that I chose the one you meant. It's a small gesture. I hope you weren't one of the cruel gods. Buzzing dabs. You dab. You... <laughs> the crystal a cloth in pine oil oil and polishes the gemstone to fragrant brightness and then they leave just pay respect okay press f to pay respect it's odd there aren't many times you'll actually find a buried treasure buzzing wonders why they didn't feel right taking it buzzing buzzing goodman that you you look like you're all right, huh? Good. We should probably talk about you, your wandering off problem, but later. Reunited, they move on and soon emerge to fight another desperate fight. But ever and after, tucked underground, a stone-sharing god will dream of them and buzzing will be protected. Hold square to pay respect. Oh, you get plus half armor. I mean, that's all right. Oh. Okay, we have three enemies, but I think we can do this. Okay, let's stand here and guard. Meanwhile, you will... Uh, interfuse maybe with that stone. We don't see any other enemies. What is this? Rattling girds. Okay, and let's throw a disc at these, this guy. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Okay, buzzing. You get the boar. Or should we do the thundering? The thundering thing. No, let's try striking it. Blocked. Rock shield. Create a protective shell stone around the mystic or an ally. Yeah, let's let's create a shield around a good man. And oh, 
and throw a disc at the raccoon. It dodged, goddamn. Stupid. How much movement do you have? Okay. Attack! Please die! Uh, okay. That rock is dead, so let's interfuse with stone tentacles. And let's throw the disc at at the raccoon, because if I remember correctly, raccoon haha -ha, is dead. Thinking of the hog music from Crash Bandicoot as I kill boars. <gasps> oh, blocked, thank god. Okay. Let's try the boar. Oh, it's dead, finally. And Goodman will move away interfuse maybe with fungus and let's do the wild grasp at this guy good 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 oh no <laughs> guys i have to say this team is op Congratulations, Buzzing! You leveled up. Uh, it's not a. It's now a Bloodhorn warrior. Your stats have grown. Very nice. And let's see, heroism active. Once per combat, Buzzing gains one action point, and attack action only costs one action point this turn. Wisdom, Buzzing gets a bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age. 100% of base job speed for every 35 years of age. What? Raider. As a swift action, buzzing can start a fire on an empty tile or break a piece of adjacent scenery, doing two damage to all foes adjacent to the scenery. Or we can upgrade the thundering challenge. Can now target multiple enemies in a small area. Oh, I have no wisdom. Yeah, wisdom is out. We don't. We don't need that. <laughs> um. But you can have more action. You can have... You can be a raider and just wreck shit. Or you can shout more. Which one do you want? Which one speaks to you, Buzzing? Heroism! Hell yeah! I was hoping you'd choose that. You're a hero in my book. And we found Walter's fate. Um, we could replace the pickaxe. Or we can just have it as another weapon. Yeah, let's just have it as, as another weapon for you. <laughs> the Toad Thresher! <laughs> I like it, I like it. Okay, that's gonna be... That's gonna be your second weapon the monster is now stronger oh no <sighs> okay okay let's try securing this place and let's let's take time yes you guys arrived here so, maybe let's send you guys here, actually. Yeah. You're gonna- Oh! Your enemies advance their plans over time. <gasps> Wait, what? This monster- What? Those- mm. I have sick- I can cancel some of them. I don't like you guys. Okay, let's let's add these two. I hope I'm not gonna I hope it's gonna be fine. Okay. Site secured. We have some wood and other stuff. And we have crow feather pauldron. It adds warding, so I guess let's give it to Goodman. <laughs> looking nice, looking sharp. 
Okay, guys, we have this place secure. So maybe let's go here? Let's go, team! Oh, this map is huge. Okay, we've revealed this. Oh, is that a city? Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Gorgons are infested. They might... Oh, okay. Okay, good thing we have more heroes because honestly, there's gonna be more monsters here. Almost a rat gas works, aren't we? Let me check my eyeball. <laughs> my eyeball says if we climb that rock hill, it'll be able to tell us more. Cute. <laughs> oh my god, look how unamused Goodman is. <laughs> <sighs> that was whew, steeper than I than it needed to be. Quite a view, though. I'll say that. Atop the highest hill. Ooh, something's burning. <gasps> An egg. Buzzing. This isn't safe. Ooh, eyeball. You've done it again. I just hate when they talk to their to their eyeball. <laughs> Buzzing, do you talk to your eyeball uh, often? Come on, Buzzing, leave it alone. Let's hatch it or call it... <gasps> 40%? Do we have like a 40% chance? <gasps> I want to hatch it! Let's try hatch it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? I'm allergic to thinking with facts and logic. I only do unsafe things. Let's go! Buzzing. It's fine. I'll be just two seconds. Now, how should I? I guess this old flower sack. Buzzing, it's here. It's about to be. Whoosh. Whoosh. Rah! Hurry up. No, I think it's a griffin, actually. <laughs> Crispla- No! Not the egg! It could- be oh, My egg! They're shattered! No! They managed to scramble down safely the rest of the way. <gasps> we were so close to getting our own griffin! That night, they hear a shrill, distant keating that rises from the hills, mournful and unbreaking. The stars throb. Something covers them for an instant, and they reappear. The fire pecks pine cones and scatters sparks. Minus 20 to goofball? Oh no. What does that mean, though? Minus 20 to goofball. Oh no, I'm so sorry, buzzing. Buzzing, start combat with half health. Oof. I don't like this. But there's more of us, thankfully. <gasps> okay. Oh, they are right on us. This is bad. Let's move here and let's attack it. Good, good, good. Um Okay, Zeus is going to kill it. Thank God. Octa. Let's move you here so you're safe and let's do the shot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Goodman, you can interfuse with the lantern and maybe set fire to the boar. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, they didn't manage to deal any damage to us, fortunately. But can we get through the door without stepping on this horrible thing? Heroism. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, ew. Okay, Zeus. 
you move here. And let's move you here. Okay. Octa. Let's move here. And here. And Goodman. You can actually interfuse with this. And can we know just outside of our range? Ah! Oh, thank God. This is huge! Okay, 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 okay. You do the thundering thing. Or maybe we could start with once per combat passing gains one action point. Okay, so maybe use this. Do the thundering challenge at this guy. It's now terrified. Good. And let's move you here. And now you can come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Oh, you can sl can you can slam again. Ew. That's disgusting. Blocked. Let's try again. To cover. Too bad. Some scenery grants cover. Don't say! But you can set fire to the raccoon. Haha. -ha. Yeah, buzzing. Let's go and kill the raccoon. Buzzing, honestly, you are kind of OP. I mean, you all, you guys all are kind of OP, honestly. <gasps> Hunter armor, ooh. Slightly slower. Mm, okay, I'm gonna give it to Octa. Sh or should I give it to Zeus? Because Octa or... Yeah, Zeus doesn't have any anything so let's give it to Zeus <gasps> handsome Zeus says dinner's almost ready she decided to go with a pear thing pear thing venison seems seemed a little unappetizing tonight hmm ever notice how they keep glowing after they're dead doesn't surprise me it's like fireflies. Hmm. What? You never crushed fireflies as a kid? I did not. Hmm. I admire your restraint. Oh my god! Good man! What? Anyway, they fade out eventually. Do they now? Slurp? Slurp? What's happening? The monster is now stronger. That's not great. <laughs> that ain't great. Okay, I'm worried that you can see those, uh, those, that those tiles are infested. So maybe let's clear them out before we do anything else. Ba buzzing is at half health. But yeah, let's, let's go. Scouting. Okay. Strength four. <sighs> yeah, I think we need to, I think we need to fix the infested ones first. Attack. Ooh. Annoying color. Hmm, what do you mean? The sky, that it's brown? Buzz is also CP tired. I keep nodding off. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> too much, too much partying, buzzing. Too much pizza. Oh, I would love to go for a pizza right now. 
But you know what I'll go for? I'm gonna go for more water. <laughs> I'll be right back! Hi, Lumis. How are you? <laughs> Streamer's gone quick. Post fat dogs. Show. Aww. He ain't fat. He just wrinkly. But cute. Buzzing is banned for. Wait, was there fat dogs in Homestuck? I don't know. You tell me. For posting links. Yes. Let's do this traditionally and give Buzzing 31 birthday beans! Bans! Wait, that's bans, not beans. <laughs> 31 birthday bans, oh my god. <laughs> Most banned someone has ever been. Hi, Angie. Hi, Lumis! At my niece's sixth birthday, I told her I was going to give her six hugs, each tighter than the last. After I had done squishing her, she asked me how old I was and told me my next birthday she would my next birthday would be very painful. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, how are you, Loomis? How are you feeling? How's your how's your uh, week been? I'm sorry, I also I grabbed more water. But I also st uh, stole like a, what's it called? A ma macaron? Ma ma like the president of France? <laughs> a macaron? <laughs> you know this tiny little co cookie? I think a cookie? Made with meringue and um, a cream inside. It's funny that they are called like macarons. Because in Polish, Macaron, it means pasta. I don't know why. <laughs> but I always just got in from work. This late? For real? I didn't sleep very well. Oh, I'm sorry you hear that. I hope you'll, I hope you'll sleep better soon. Oh, how am I? I'm very good. I had a very active day. I did like a, a 11, a, no. 11,000 steps today? Yeah, 11,000 steps today. Um. I had a long walk with with puppies. I I did some chores. I did some cleaning because tomorrow is party day. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cooking with friends. We're gonna make some pizzas. But tomorrow I need to go and do some shopping for that. And you went walkies. I I went so many walkies and talkies. <laughs> but right now. Friday is evening shift for me. I finish at 7 p.m. and then I have work again at 9 the next morning? Man. That's horrible. That sucks, honestly. <laughs> it's not, it's not like a shorter uh, shift at least. Because it's a weekend? And because it's New Year's? You're working on New Year's? <laughs> I hope they'll let you go home earlier so so you can like prepare for a party or something. <clears throat> anyway, let's let's get to it. I wish I could talk to a Gorgon right now. Sure a pie. Know what I mean? Why? <laughs> feel like it gets too simple sometimes. Climb this hill and fight. Cross this river and fight. Sweat, bleed, die. It's not easy, but it's simple. Sometimes I think it should be more complicated. Like morally complicated? Goodman, you want to have moral dilemma over killing monsters? 
Hmm. Sorry, don't want to talk, maybe? Hmm. Well, I... It's only half a day tomorrow. Finish at one. Well, at least that's that. It's gonna, it's gonna, uh, you're gonna be done with a, within a blink of the eye, you know? Kudro? Kudro? Oh, that's a cat! We need to save it! Oh my god! Kerslash! We can't seem to stay bored these days. Yeah, but you don't seem to mind too much. What is cor Cordo? Scrow! I, I have no idea what sounds that's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, let's go save the cat! Coro! Crow! I think. Wait! But isn't that also a cat? It It's shaped kind of like a cat. What's going after it? Should I just make up a... No, it's fine. You don't know. Kodoro? Come on! Watch it! Oh god, okay. I think the cat ran away. But this mo- Hey. <gasps> Is it sad? That its playmate ran away? Aw, oh, you think that's it? I wonder what we really walked in on. Owner's not home. <sighs> ah, careful, Andrew. You're not a level one commoner, are you? No, I mean, I am not a character in this game. I am a dungeon master. We have Buzzing, we have Zeus, we have Okta, and Goodman so far. <sighs> Actually, it seems like someone... Something happened to them, or they just simply went elsewhere? They haven't been here in the fall, possibly even since spring. Oh, what's with the thing? I'm not imagining it, the thing's depressed. Yeah, I just feel like that's not the whole story. Well, it doesn't seem to hate us. I'll keep an arrow out all the same. Doesn't seem to notice us, I should maybe say. Oh wait, look! He came back! Oh, the cat came back! What is it exactly? Think they're drawn to each other? Is that a book? Shout out to people who homebrew commoner classes for D&D. &D. Wow, no party member for your hardworking mod, okay. You weren't here, Loomis. We were creating characters for, for each person and they, they had input in it, you know? I didn't want to, to do a disservice to you. I don't know, there's this. Yeah, read the book. Read the book, Carl. Wait, is it gonna be angry at us for taking the book? It's a cookbook? Hmm, I don't... No, no, it's not a... It's a journal. Notes. Records of a lengthy project. Can I try and read some? Do you want to? I guess. Kodoro? Kodoro? What's, what's it saying? So it starts. Day one. Today I start my dark little spell journal. So it's, yes, yeah, sp spell journal? Flipping through, there's, a li there's lists and drawings, diagrams, but it goes on. I shall here document lucidly and diligently as I may my preparation, my processes, my observations. I do not yet know if, how, and to what effects this spell shall succeed, but I am resolved in my curse to see it through. And there's an, um, uh, an amendment. See it almost through. The final turn scares me. It's frightening magic we channel! Exclamation point. I 
I'm sorry I wasn't here because I was working to support us. I give oh, I give my all for this family and what do I get? When was the last time you even washed the dishes here, Angie? I work myself to the bone. Oh my god, I'm I'm not I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm not ready for this level of commitment, you know. <laughs> I mean, look, I had to. Didn't you see? I <laughs> God, I had to entertain chat when you were away. You think that's nothing? <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry, I choked. <laughs> you people are so silly. <laughs> mm -mm. You're saying the person wrote out excla- Of course not. A cramped indoor hour passes. Day 10, the spell is cast, and yet today he languishes, same as yesterday, sleeps and raises his eyes blurrily like a cat nine times his age. His voice gives unfaltering life to the writer's unstylish lines. Day 34, I grow, sure, small signs that seemed like delusions at first, manufactured meanings sprouted of a man's hope-wild imagination. They are like letters, ret retraced, becoming starker, clearer. Things are changing. Her herb dust, the seeped in smoke of incense, books and their book covers, the tired beams of rosewood, the soft old cottages smell combine. Blanket weight, the malt odor sinks around their shoulders, growing especially comfortable in this place and time, like winter warmth. Last entry. Noticing shorter sentences. Clipped thoughts, I guess. Which tells me this person was struggling with their own awareness. Well, and there's also this first line. Day 62. My... My brains become a fiddle string. As vibrating, focused, lonesome as that, my mind narrows. And every thought is a pressed note along that stringing single strand. A solitary stem from which not every sound or contemplation I would once have easily produced may now flower. It's a wandering set of images he uses. Perhaps old age would have always been like this. At least, at least shy. Shy continues to mend. For the first time today, he ate with gusto. The whole herring I brought him. It's been... I've gone back in my old diaries to check. It's been just over two years. And as I must have noticed previously, it's this extended span of smaller changes I find most heartening. The pattern and pace speak to me of momentum, a steady motion that may carry forward, far into the future, if never near forever. Huh? I find myself fearing the end, but fear, too, is a new daring of mine, darling of mine. Mortal fear, fresh and clear and bright, it confirms for me that the world keeps its bargains. The strength, he strength, strength, strengthens as I waste down. He, the cat? This fate is what I wrought for myself and for him. Let's not be sad. And though it appears that the tweaks I made failed, I think of what that midnight or orchid I so ardently ar haunted and harvested so carefully separated, that those efforts have done nothing to mitigate or smooth out the transfer of my years. Let's not get down about it. Wait, so do I understand cor correctly that this person transferred their, their years or to the, onto their cat? Oh, Chad always comes first. All I hear is Chad this and Chad that. <laughs> I mean, they were here when you were away. You used to make me feel special, but now you only love me for my bands. 
<laughs> for for your powerful ban hammer. <laughs> And now, and you know I love you no matter what. I would support you if you lost your job. I would find you beautiful even if you went bald. Oh no, I know what's going to happen. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> In my line of business, we call that foreshadowing. <laughs> oh gosh. Wish this story would have a happy ending. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> At least I have my flowers. <laughs> yeah, not super pleasant, is it? But, hmm. I am quite free of any regrets. Gratitude is what I feel. If you are reading this, believe me, mostly I am grateful. Now, I wish to say... If you see Shy around, chase him off. That cat will live a thousand years. I don't know where he'll go, but don't let him waste his life here. <gasps> he did! Uh, you want me to be a cat girl? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it works. With bald head, so let me. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna manually put cat ears. <sighs> I don't know why it didn't work, so let me just... <sighs> okay, you know what? Those cat ears should match my my hair a bit. Big. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. I should I should put them underneath flowers. But can I put it at oh I can't okay you know what let me let me first remove the flowers put on cat ears and then I'm gonna put my flowers again my flowers ah, beautiful I'm the most beautiful cat girl in town <laughs> bullying the streamer by making him cry to a whole drink an emotional bit to fuck around cool ah, we are so cute yeah yeah hello mr president <laughs> mr wabawa hello <laughs> <laughs> for here i will soon be bound to what extent I shall eventually diminish. It seems hard to guess. I suspect I shall be, I shall be nothing but a shadow soon. Lightless, thoughtless, meaningless, and without memory, a shade. May you live long, dear reader, never needing to learn the lengths you, you would go to save the ones you love. He signs his name, Gramward Sage, Foolish Warlock of Lankmeadow. It's poetic, sort of. Then this shadow thing, is that it, it's, it's what left of him? Seems like. Hmm. Oh, but the cat doesn't like it. Well, we can do what the guy wanted anyway. Lead this cat away from here. You know, Zeus, I think this is a case where want is not the same as need. <sighs> okay. Guys, we have this situation. There's this guy 
who gave away his life to make his cat basically immortal and he wrote in his journal that he doesn't want the cat to stay here and waste away with him so we can chase away the cat however this guy turned into this shadow and he lives here and he's visibly depressed if the cat's away so what should we do they want they in in their last like sane moments they wanted the cat to be free to do what they want and they wanted it not to waste away in here but the cat stays here but the cat doesn't like the shadow i bet the cat misses misses its companion the shadow is what's left of the com of the companion also it's fascinating that the guy turned into a shadow of a cat oh on one hand i'm like the guy wanted the cat to live its life and the cat is just hanging around here because maybe the cat hopes that its companion will be back will be back home not knowing that their companion is home but they don't recognize them that's why they are aggressive towards the shadow so i would say that the cat suffers because they don't recognize their companion but they hope to find him But then again, I also think that the, on the one hand, the, the cat should know better. <laughs> ah. Ah. Guys, give me your input. Should we chase away the cat and the guy will be depressed? And or should we let the cat stay despite what were the guy's wishes? It was basically his last wish before moving on. Man, this is sad. Sad. And I just put on cat ears. I mean, relevant to the topic, but also... I feel like I need more information. Like? What are your questions, Loomis? We can try to, you know, tackle it together. If we choose option two, we are just walking straight out, or are we going to try and help the cat get along with the shadow? Yeah, it's not it's not explained here, so I don't know. I think that might be the case, honestly. That we are just gonna leave this place and not help. just leave the things as they are i think it's it's either we lead the cat away or we leave the things as they are i don't think we can we can fix it because according to what's i don't know if we can convince the cat that this is their companion from before But yeah, this is so sad. Both of these choices give them a compliment. Poor, mistreated, long-suffering Loomis. <sighs> Loomis, 
I know you are poor, mistreated, and long-suffering. However, I want you to know that I appreciate all you do. And honestly, this is the, I'm, I'm not, you know, pulling pulling your leg. I'm not joking right now because I, I really appreciate all you do. And you have no idea how much my heart swells every time you, like, post a clip or, or comment on any of my stuff or, like... <sighs> You know, just being perceived is amazing. The fact that you spend so much time, I really love it and I appreciate all you do. And, and I mean, I am very, very grateful for all you've done and all you do. And you're also very handsome, beautiful, striking. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Smart. Uh, 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 very well read. <laughs> you have amazing taste uh, in books and other media. <laughs> Okay, I need to I need to keep uh, keep something uh, keep something for like striking people down with a band hammer that too. I need to uh, keep things uh, for the future also. <laughs> the spark is still there. I love you too. Please please take me back. You know, Loomis, you know my door is always always open. <laughs> but honestly, what do we do with the cat? Um I kind of, you know what, if we look at this as a like metaphor for grief, I think the first option would be helping somebody to move on, to accept that somebody is no longer here and they need to move on, while the second option is leaving them to like... leaving them to their grief but like not processed grief like like staying within a cycle of hoping that they'll be back but not ever like experiencing it so i feel that unless the second option allows us to help them like connect although i think that's not the case because it was said in the journal that uh, the person forgot who they were and all of that stuff so I think the second option is is worse. I think I think while the first option will lead to the fact that the shadow will be alone and will be depressed, I think it will be better for the cat. And considering that they did this for the cat, leaving their cat here to make them happy, I think is the wor worst option. Maybe we're hurting the shadow more by leaving the cat here and not letting the shadow fade away to move on. This is also an option. So I think, I think we should follow their last wish and lead the cat away as much as it breaks my heart because the shadow will be depressed. So yeah, I'm choosing this. I only hate to think of leaving him alone, alone like this, peaceless forever. Yeah, but what's... Uh-huh. What? Kodoro? Burn it! He wants it burned! The journal? We burned the journal? No. You think burn it? The journal? I think so. Burn it. Setting fire to a book is never as easy as it sounds. I don't think... <laughs> Lumis, I don't think we we, uh, we knew we were gonna to burn the book. <laughs> it seems... It sounds like a blasphemy considering where you work. <laughs> Setting fire to a book is never as easy as it sounds. But Goodman takes the oven hot enough, uh, gets the oven hot enough. Page corners catch and the flames start to eat. 
Kororo. And when the heat is high, with a kind of hunger, the shadow leaps, joins the Black River, flowing into a wide and already sm smoke dark sky. Oh. A little later. Supposed to meet up around here at the cleft hill, weren't we? Is this one cleft? Isn't it? Isn't it like pretty cleft? <gasps> Cat! God <gasps> Goodman gets a cat? Zeus gets a cat? Or we let the cat wander, followed us, saying goodbye. I mean, I gotta say, Zeus is a hunter, and Zeus loves cats. She's gonna love me if I give her a cat. <laughs> We're not the type to be wrong, either of us, are we? Oh my god, I'll have to tell the Zeus. I'll have to tell Zeus! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll just... Oh, shit! No, 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 no. And that is the story of how Zeus met Shy. Goodman, why aren't you with? Oh, there she is. They would go together wherever thereafter they went. Oh god, I need to tell her! Oh god. She's gonna be so happy that she's got a cat. Wait, I'm gonna message her right away. <laughs> Where's she? Wait, come on. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> She's got... <laughs> be hilarious if she if she got back to watching me stream <laughs> after this message i messaged her i got you a, a cat familiar <laughs> we'll see <laughs> if she responds oh okay we have a tower we have a tower there's gonna be monsters in there that's a rope And that's a bucket. <laughs> no, it's two buckets. I wonder if we can use a... Let's move. Okay, let's move Buzzing here. And before they open the door, let's move Zeus here. Can they? I mean, there is rope, but I don't think we can use the item, so that kind of sucks. Oh, sorry. Let's, uh... Okay, let's get... Let's move Okta behind Buzzing. And let's move Goodman next to Okta. In any case, Zeus will look at that. Cat ears and flowers, I guess. That makes you a catnip. <laughs> Maybe it does. Okay, let's open the door. <gasps> That's a lot of monsters! Um, Let's uh, 
go with Goodman and infuse the furnace. Ooh. Flare. Oh, blinded. Oh, we blinded the enemies. Very nice. Uh, let's do the... Uh, Polypa is the superior catrol. What is that say? Ne Nepta? What? No, what? Is that a homestuck reference? Okay, and let's yell at the enemies. Okay, uh, let's uh, guard. Okay, you are gonna move here to have a good line of sight at the enemies. Okay, shoot it, shot, okay. Alarm? What? Alarm? No! Okay, let's start with good men and let's flare again. Okay, unfortunately, I think we destroyed the furnace. But at least, I think they took some damage. I'm talking about flowers. This is completely innocent. I find that hard to believe, though. Okay, before we move to attacking those guys, let's shoot the raccoon. <laughs> Hobbled, okay. And you could kill the raccoon. But these guy is this guy is terrified. Okay, so let's kill the raccoon. Because having one less enemy is always good. Okay, you're gonna move inside here and attack the monster! Wait, they're still alive? Nah, they died. Good, good, good. I wonder does Zeus have no, they doesn't they don't have any additional action related to the cat, I think. Wait, let me see. What is this? <laughs> yes, I, I'm exactly like the Eggman in here. Yeah, let's let's just save the game, just in case. Okay. Buzzing. Should we... Mm, okay, we have a door here. I think there's a wall. So let's maybe move to see... Ah, shit. It's hard to operate this camera. Just anything interesting in here? Not really. Okay, so let's go inside. Can you open the door? You know what? Before we open the door... Maybe let's move in here. And let's move Octa in here. So they are protected. Zeus can now open the door. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Maybe let's move back here. <gasps> you can shoot them through the door. Nice. <laughs> And you... Oh, what's that? Grain grinder? What can we do with it? Barrage? Tools are torn into a deadly wor- What? <laughs> hi, hi, Philly. Yeah, let's do that. You. Oh! They dead. Okay. Books. Potential cover. But also, I I wish we could have used these things, like, as items. Okay, but Buzzing is gonna move here. Oh no! Okay, you... Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam! Come on and slam! Zeus is gonna shoot them. Oh, noise. Um, Arcta is gonna move here and also shoot. We are almost there. Okay, 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 okay. You can move here. And let's try to infuse... Splatterfast, maybe? Is it... Is it just... Is it within the range or is it just outside? Ah! It was within the range! Very good. 
very nice. <laughs> this, that screech woke me up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god, Lumis! Oh my, not Lumis, oh my god. Goodman, congrats on a level up. What's the sound? <laughs> you are not, you are now a Bloodhorn Mystic. Weren't you before a blood horn? Maybe that was the uh, maybe something else mystic. Open mind, passive. Goodman can interfuse with one additional target. Noise. Bard! Goodman reduces the cost of recruit jobs by one plus five stunt chance to all heroes in the party. Goodman, do you feel like a bard? Uh, in in the indign indignance, Goodman's presence is charged against his foes, dealing one true damage to hostile creatures who enter adjacency within him or for any reason. Okay, I don't think because we are trying not to allow pe creatures to get too close. Uh, upgrade Earth Scribe. Wall has more HP. Wait, does the bard have a spoon? Uh, he's actually a mystic, not a bard, and yes, he does have a spoon. That's his weapon. <laughs> Is that a spoony bard? <sighs> he's not a bard! He's a mystic! He can be a bard, though. <laughs> I am kind of torn between open mind and a bard, honestly. Goodman, if you're still here, I, I would love your feedback. Which option you prefer? I vote Spoony Bard. It is, it is a cool option. Uh Give me a second. Um I sorry, I <laughs> I saw I got a message from Zeus. She was like, oh my god, what's its name? So I had to tell her its name. Wait until you hear his prophecy. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to have a prophecy. Uh, but yeah, I mean... Yeah. Let's make him a bard. Fox Quartz Belt. It adds armor. Hmm. Who has got the least... Octa has the lowest armor. No, actually Goodman has one. Oh. Goodman is squishy, but they are a bard, so that is I think Octa because Octa already lost an eye because of me. I'm so sorry, Octa. <laughs> Forgive me. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. Ah. <sighs> Oh god, those monsters are getting tougher. <laughs> Scout, we've heard trouble up till Telel Vigil. Is this Where is it though? I don't know where Telel Vigil is. Let's um maybe let's do this. Let's split. One group will secure this place, the other will secure this place, and then we'll go together there. I think that's a good thing. Investigate thoroughly. And let's put here... Hmm. I think maybe... Maybe... I kind of wish we had... <laughs> I kind of wish we had to close combat fighters but let's do this it's gonna be buzzing and octa okay and here 
it's gonna be uh, Zeus and Goodman. Yep. I hope, please God, nothing bad is gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, so they are fixing up. Oh, wait, what's in what's here? Oh, this is still El Vigil. Okay, so we need to get there. Okay. Okay, what? Paused? Why paused? Opportunity from another time. Octa rouses buzzing for a mysterious journey. Buzzing slept unsoundly. The night that poured through the window was colder than anticipated. But then there was also... Buzzing! Mm. What? <laughs> Wake up, Buzzing! We have somewhere to go! Why? Where? What time is it? Time to be on the road! I'm sorry for the rush. Anyway, grab your gear. My gear? So, in the middle of the night, they went. Where they went? Only Octa knew. No, I need a few days at least. <laughs> Buzzing. <laughs> this would happen when I'm sleepy tired in real life. So what, Buzzing? Are you up for an adventure or nah? I give you the choice. Birthday B. Are you craving adventure? Nah, sleepy. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, I can. This is the same? I need at least a few days of travel. Travel to a set? No, let's start. Okay, here we have completed. We have stuff. And we have Wolfheart Pauldron. It adds stealth. Ooh, stealth? No, it adds health. God damn, I can't read. It adds health. Seven, four, seven. Okay, I think Octa. Yes, oh my God. Octa looks so badass. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um okay, so Zeus and uh Zeus and Goodman secure to this place. So I guess we can send them there to scout. Okay. Now time for pie. Okay, okay. And we have Snake Stone Ring, which adds dodge. Dodge 47, 60, 55, 52. Uh, well, obviously buzzing has lowest dodge, but they are also a tank. So, 57. I think I'm gonna give it to Zeus because they, apart from buzzing, they have the lowest dodge. And they need to uh, they need to keep uh, the cat safe. Okay. Buzzing, we have another opportunity to do this thing. Are you still sleepy? Or or are you are you okay now? <laughs> we already let a few days pass. Pardon me, my internet bad. It's fine. No worries. Oh gosh, sorry. <sighs> Speaking of sleepy, it's time for an adventure! Let's go. Wait, what? Selected heroes? What? Click to inspect. What? Oh, do I use all of these? Or I can choose Zeus? 
Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we already have a hunter, so I'm not gonna switch Goodman for Zeus. I'm sorry, Zeus. Oh! A scar in the prairie widens into a misty veil, and Zeus finds herself exploring a marshy little woodland. Dragonflies garble the air with their wings and whirls. Swamp Witch, that's who I would expect to see here. Some mysterious woman in a white hat, mist that weaves around her, and eyes that flash like coins inside a well. Hey, Blunderfoot, you strike me as an easy mark. Huh? Hmm? Thought I would meet a Swamp Witch suddenly. And who's to say you haven't? My name's... Kamina Hog. Some there are that call me Lucky Kamina or the Million Trick Lady. Some just call me the Gambler. Wow, I love to work out a name train like that one. <laughs> oh, it gets exhausting sometimes. Sometimes I like going unknown, unknown and unmeasured. I appreciate a good persona, that's all. We all want that folks, folks tell tales about. I'm getting some honesty, aren't I? That's a rich coin between folks like us. Kamina produces a small box banded in bright brass. Behold! Corn! <laughs> she sets it on a stone. A chance meeting reminds us that chance are fleeting. Here's a little betting box. How about two strangers wager together in the wet marsh? My internet doesn't like Twitch right now. I'm gonna dip out now. Have a good night, Angie. All right, Buzzy, thank you so much and happy birthday again. Thank you for hanging and I hope I don't kill your character. <laughs> I hope your character grows to be the strongest and most fearsome warrior. The game is guessing what's inside and your word is your wager. You pay what you say. Oh shit. Okay, so I guess something worn? A trinket? In a box? Maybe some precious materials? The essence of life itself. Or nothing. Okay, I guess this is this is basically like saying uh, I'm not gonna play your game, so I get nothing in return. The essence of life itself, there's 70% chance, and I bet it can it can and in Zeus's death, so I'm not gonna bet on that. Precious materials, so I guess it may be some of my resources. 82% chance, or a trinket, and there's 91% chance. So I guess I'm gonna go with the safest bet, with a trinket. A trinket, you say? Or a some worn article, like my snakestone ring here? Open it then. Zeus flicks the lid open, but it's nothing like what she said. It's four things. The four staples of a craft person, wood, metal, hide, and cloth. Apologies, I didn't say it'd be easy. I was sure, I had a feeling. That the ring you're wearing, your snake's own ring, I'm afraid I'm entitled to it. You'll wear it well, I hope. Maybe you'll come gamble it off me someday, but for now, as we say, fare you well upon your way and lighter be your step. Ah, shit. God damn it. They go their separate ways, Zeus and this person known as Million Trick Lady. Sometimes Zeus will remember this chance encounter and the betting box, and a look of regret will clench her aging face. So we lost the ring. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Build a station here to en earn resources. Oh? To, uh, an outfitter provides hide and a fabric. Weave works provide two fabrics. A tannery provides two hides. Hmm. <laughs> I 
I don't know what I need those for, honestly. I still haven't figured that one out. Something about... Something about, like... Uh, what was I saying? Jeez, uh... That I'll need those resources for... To craft things, maybe? But I didn't have an option to craft anything yet. Maybe I need to get back to town for that? Oh, craft! Send a hero to this town to craft or upgrade an item. Oh, well. So yeah, maybe build this station and let's get two hides, actually. Zeus, you get, you get to that. <laughs> Those mountains journey ends there, I hope. What? Jesus. <laughs> it's been a long trek. The campfires have been mostly quiet. When when they have spoken of their destination, Oct has kept their descriptions sparse. They've mentioned a cave and a pool of water. Gazing into the pool is supposed to give you some kind of I don't know, a revelation. <laughs> I didn't have an option to craft, has an option to craft. <laughs> I haven't seen it before, okay? The cloud of their past has settled on their forehead, shadowy, constant. I wish you wouldn't over explain. Long falls await reckless leapers. Know that I've considered this journey, this place, for a long time. They clam climb down rocks through dust-blown gorges and discover the hidden mouth of a cave. But what are you hoping to find in there? Oh, Okta, there's ga gaps in my life and a pain I've lived with that I can't explain. I want to know why. Darkness co uh, covers some of my memories. This feeling that I did something bad long ago. <gasps> Dust blown gorgeous. Gorgeous. Are you gorgeous? <laughs> Wait, I remember uh, something in your history. Uh, they came across a famous killer near near Wartville blind alone and without obvious cause the men cared for a colony of the forgotten old so basically the guy was a killer but he was taking care of old people right so Octa let him be so now is it connected to that maybe but I feel that do we give Okta a dark secret or maybe some... Hmm. I kind of want to give them this. The pain. The, the drama. I love the drama. I don't want to make Okta into a, a... I don't know. Maybe Okta was the killer this whole time. <laughs> I've already made him lose an eye. I don't want to... I want to put them in any more, like, bad situations. Pain? Possibly the pancreas. <laughs> I've read where that's kind of a chance. <laughs> oh, God. This is no pancreas. <laughs> they come upon the pool, not far inside, but there's someone standing before it. Okta, I'm Nan. Good to meet you. You know my name. Since you are a child, I've watched your progress. I knew we were destined to meet one day. Well, that's creepy. Darkness covers my memories and about half of my vision. <laughs> I have no depth perception because of this darkness. Watch them? Sounds dull. Sounds creepy and wet. 
I've heard this called the Pool of Visions. You've heard wrong. In fact, it's the Pool of Revisions. <laughs> Here you can see what would have happened if you were to change one decision in your life. What? It's like a... A window of regrets then. Or a mistakoscope, to put it simpler. <laughs> I have to admit, I love that I gave, uh, I gave Buzzing the clown uh, descriptor and, and a goofball. Right, I'll call it more, more of a mistakoscope. In any case, you may only look once and only after you've defeated the challenge. And the challenge is what? <gasps> A me! <laughs> In my youth, I was greedy, strong. I sought to slay the god beast, Mo Atona, to show my might. Rather than end me, she saved my soul, gave my life its purpose. Don't hold back. I am charged to test you. I knew it. I fucking knew it. If you're sure. Raise your guard! We won't go easy! Ha! Non the mighty. The aged warrior looks strong as stones, eyes sharp and feet quick. <gasps> I hope he ain't gonna kill us though. Okay, non. Let's stand. Buzzing is gonna stand here. Octa is gonna stand maybe maybe behind buzzing and Goodman Goodman is gonna stand here wait no okay let's infuse with this rock interfuse sorry rock shield let's put on on Octa because I'm afraid that they are gonna get damage. Ooh. What is the test before your vision falls on the pool of revision? First, you must show me your long division. <laughs> okay, let's do the hero thing and let's go thunder. He's gonna be scared. And let's slay him. Okay. And guard. All right. Oh, I think he's gonna die. Perfect. I thought he was supposed to be a powerful foe. I guess he was a decent. The final blow leaves the warrior non dazed and weaponless. Oof. He falls to a knee. <laughs> I'm afraid we're tougher than we look. You've beaten me fairly and proven your worth as, a, as warriors. Take your one look into Pool of Revisions. However, you should know that while you can see what you've been, you can never change what was. Octa steps forward as Nan steps back. They lean by the glimmering pool blue waters. The smell of damp minerals and cave moss fills their nose. Gazing into the pool, they see nothing but the bottom. Until... They see themselves almost as they are now, out of time and place, in a place they hasn't quite forgotten. They, can, they can't remember what happened here, but there's a knife inside them, a sense of real hurt. They're speaking to someone. And the world word comes to them in a flash. Sibling? Their sibling is preparing to go on a journey. They argue and they turn away. Suddenly they feel the ache of watching them go, realizes they never came home again, though they waited years. I let them leave. But in this vision, Octa follows and convinces them to stay. Their lives after that go on in whatever small village this was. Neither of them leave home and they live wondering what they might have been if they've made bolder choices. They stand, the memory in the pool fades, 
Waterlight dances on the dark water on the on the dark cave roof. You never told me about your sibling. I suppose I was trying to forget. I don't even recall where they where we lived or how we or what we I think that they must have died somewhere far from home and I must have left after that and buried my memories. Then today in a sense you got your sibling back. I guess. <laughs> Before they go, Buzzing takes their own glance into what might have been. Goodman too decides to have a look. Where did they come from? <laughs> I mean, Buzzing, I know, but Goodman? And then they file out, quiet eyes and thundering thoughts. I don't get to hear what... But what Buzzing and Goodman saw? But the guy smiles. And we leave. Legacy points one. <gasps> Octa! Okay. Hardiness. Octa has 30%, plus 30% health. Thorn Fang. Once per turn, Octa is ref refunded an action point after a melee kill. Inspiration. Octa gives adjacent allies plus one bonus damage and spell damage. Or we can upgrade our shot. Hmm. Hmm. Goodman asks, what if they were a giant robot? Buzzing asks, what if they were more like a video game? <laughs> Buzzing asks, what if Homestack was real? <laughs> hmm, I kind of want to do this, but Octa is. Hmm. But Octa is an arranged. arranged dealer. Or maybe I should turn him into a close combat dealer. <sighs> yeah! Yes, I want to have another closed combat fighter. So let's do that. <laughs> oh god, guys, I'm sorry. Give me give me a moment. I'm sorry, my nose is killing me. Hmm. So we have we have finished the thing here. Zeus is establishing a thing over there. Prepare defense. No, let's go scouting here. Oh god. Okay, I have eight legacy points. And I can this monster spikes. I can cancel some of them. I don't know what are you. Okay. Okay. I think this is gonna be fine. I hope. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you finish this. You can prepare defense. Okay, can we? During an enemy incursion, each tier of defense will slow down the enemy and reduce their incursion size by one. Defense will also grant buffs during defen defense. De de defense? <sighs> tier one? Maybe let's do two. Yeah. What? No! Mm. Tannery is established. Okay. No, not patrol. I want Zeus to travel together with them there. Build defense. Yeah. With you as well. Yeah! Great, 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 great. So now... Great. So now we can go and assault here. I don't want to leave Zeus totally alone because honestly, 
We need to level her, her up. None of us knew what had changed the beasts who roamed our wilds. We knew something lived inside them. Blue burning hate that frenzied them, then left them still. A stone sentence, worse and more deadly than any venom. Today we would finally found out where it came from, and why it wouldn't stop. Well, Talel Vigil looks mostly intact. But we should still stay ready. Octa? Anything? I don't know, but believe me, I'm not falling asleep back here. <laughs> Personally, I'm done expecting things to go smoothly. Yeah, I'm with you. Their approach to the town of Talel Vigil is completely silent. <gasps> the town is no longer there! Okay. So this is a pretty big map. I expect there's gonna be some enemies, but let's uh, check out this first. Tentacles? No. Zeus. <clears throat> Just looking inside. <gasps> There's a person. Do what we can. Oh, I can't go there. Okay, let's move here. There's petrified beyond our help now okay let's start with scouting you can do this with this bucket oh we can't do it with this bucket <laughs> that's what's wrong okay let's move a buzzing here and maybe here <gasps> they they're all stuck aren't they unforgivable and how many more are there there's tracks they go up to that barn door I wonder if there's more stone people in there whatever this is could still be inside wow <gasps> monsters monsters where Oh, monsters from behind. Okay. Goodman, run away! Uh, Octa. Octa, maybe move here. And can you... Oh, it's outside of your range. So let's move next to Goodman, I guess. Uh, you wait. Zeus. Okay, you can get here and shoot the, the creature. Okay, you probably slowed it down, which is good. And let's keep... Let's stay together. So I'm gonna put you here. And you're gonna stand guard. You're gonna infuse maybe with... The lantern and illuminate it so once it's lit if there's any ha any monsters we can set them on fire possibly like this very good uh, okay Zeus can you finish the creature almost Oh, you can't move anymore. Too bad I haven't, like, made you fall back a little bit. What if we moved... Here? Yes, and shoot the flaming boar. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. Let's move here and now guard. That's a clever 
Okay, Zeus, you fall back a bit. And shoot the, the stag. God damn it. Um, what if you swap weapon? Oh wait, is torch your weapon? Wait, 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 wait. You have a skinning knife and a torch and you can't attack with them? Okay, then I guess we move here and shoot you now, like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too bad. Hmm. Let's try this with a shrubbery. I have better go to sleep. Alas, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, Lumis, for hanging. Go sleep. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And I hope that um, uh, your day tomorrow is gonna be without any, you know, problems, issues, and it's gonna be go in a blink. Um, mm -hmm. <gasps> in here okay okay so let's go back here and here this is Zeus Zeus is gonna move there and can we Attack scenery. No. No, you're gonna just wait. Um, mm -hmm. Let's move here and wait. And you're gonna withdraw for now. And... No. What can I do with you? Can I move the wagon, for example? I wait or maybe let's move yeah let's move uh, wait yes Zeus is gonna move here and wait and you're gonna move here and wait and you're gonna move here and everybody is so safe and wait. oh there is the raccoon Okay. Let's power up the heroes thing. And let's slam that raccoon to cover. Okay, so let's do thundering thing and scare it. And now slam. Oh, I think it died. <laughs> that was an overkill. Okay, I think there's nothing else inside this house. There's some barrels, some stones, but I think we can move on, actually. Uh, done. Mm hmm And you also move here. Okay. Let's go. Let's not move too fast, honestly. Because I am worried that there's gonna be more... more monsters here. Extinguish fire? Okay. We can do that for some reason. And you withdraw. Monsters? <gasps> Big monster! Okay, let's uh, guard. You are gonna move here. 
and shoot the damn thing. Okay, that's always a little bit of damage. You're gonna move here so we're protected and deal some more damage. Blocked, fuck. And you... Um, you're gonna move here and let's try and maybe possess something inside. A lantern, okay. Illuminate. Let's light the shit on fire! Ew! Oh no! Oh no, that's the that's the poison. Let's start with Goodman uh, lighting it on fire. And let's try first kill it with arrows. Shoot your shot. Yeah! Oh no! Oh no! More more toxic danger. Buzzing is gonna it's gonna uh, I understand the risks. Oh no! Tick damage. Uh, very unfortunate, but I guess there was no other choice. Ah. Okay, before we do your second action, let's get the rest of the team as well. And a good man. Okay. <laughs> Good men come in here because I'm scared. Open door. Gorgon, shimmering fluidly, its silent, slithering approach fascinates the minds as it haunts the heart. Is it supposed to be like a mind flayer? Oh, I am. I am. Distraught. Okay, light the lamp. You come here. You don't have the monster in your line of sight, right? Okay. Octa. Goodman, you can't move. Why? Um. Okay. Zeus, you also become invisible. Okay. Oh no! Goodman, 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 get inside! Okay, let's do this with the sack. Ooh, that should help us. That should help us. Can you constrict? Uh, a serpent of animated fabric wraps around an enemy, hobbling it and squeezing away its life. Yes, please. Because I'm worried. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh, thank God, it's dead. At least that's that. Okay, let's move you maybe here. And shoot the thing. Let's get you here and also shoot the thing. Thank you. <gasps> it's gonna move. Ah! Oh, zero damage, but pinned? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Buzzing, move here. And you're gonna slam. <laughs> get back, you monster! Octa level up. Zeus is closer. Ring of Divinity. Okay, it's give. It's gonna give us more warding. Who's got the lowest? Uh, one four. I think buzzing get the lowest. So maybe buzzing. You're gonna get the ring. There you go. <gasps> Octa level up. Quelling Moss, passive active. Octa has coated their weapons in Quelling Moss. Their melee and ranged attacks apply poison. As an action, they can toss a flask of burning moss that applies poison to all units. <gasps> poison! Ambush. Octa draws back using a ranged attack on the first enemy who enters the threat. Threatened tiles, dealing an extra two damage. 
Heroism. Ooh, heroism is nice, honestly. But poison is also nice. So let's go with... Poison, actually. Fear the ancient hero queen who reigns in salt cold deeps. It cause of a Asia. Silence in her spiral, she sleeps. Octa, please. We're well on our way to being legend ourselves, aren't we? Ah! The hulking carcass steams from its many wounds, hideous convulsions curse along its appendages to the extremities of its body. Then. A slithering tentacle <gasps> in the reach no not for Zeus no the thing's tremendous tail flicks across the barn it plucks up Zeus like she's a straw doll her weapons falling uselessly from her hands as it pulls her in Z no a voice leaks from Zeus's mouth it's a wrong voice weird and discordant like someone fretting and Plucking a fiddle who's never picked out one up. Steal yourselves, bone stacks. This one speaks my words. I can make it die. <gasps> no, not Zeus. You are not alike to us, weak lungs and small minds. Stacks of splintering bones, thin blood that will so readily betray you. Why flail for your lives so noisy? You can survive this, just put her down. You think I flail for life as you do? I am Gorgon, the master Ulstrix has promised us silence. The voice dissolves into a sound like rain or distant waves. Wriggling grips tighten. A tentacle invades Zeus's ear. No! Stop it! Octa leaps forward, their bow drawn back, an arrow knocked. They loose. Stop, I said! The arrow sinks into great beast's neck. Zeus falls free of his tendrils. As Goodman and Buzzing rush over to make certain of the Gorgon's demise, Octa supports Zeus, helping her to stand. You're here, Zeus, you're all right. A strange stony affliction spreads from Zeus's ear. Zeus? This isn't over. I saw its mind. The stone was in was in its claws. Zeus takes the stones from Goodman's palm, turning it in front of her eyes, catching slender sunbeams that slice the barn wall. The strange polyhedral stone is slick with Gorgon's blood. Ep Epichrist. Each face is graven with an intricate image, the word in the Gorgon's head was Epichrist. This town, Telel Vigil, these petrified people, even this monster, all figures in a larger story. The Epichrist glistens, sticky and blue. The Gorgons have a master, Ulstrix, Al it's called. It's looking for something, some myth or secret. I think the riddle is in the stone. I think we have to find out what Ulstrix want. And make sure he doesn't get it? Zeus? Wait, do I choose? Or do they... No, I think they just get it. Okay, so... Octa is plus 10 retirement age. I don't know what that means. Zeus loses charisma. And she gets to be a loner. Oh no! Zeus, I'm so sorry. Victory one, uh, safe tiles eight, towns one, infested tiles remaining zero, lurking threats remaining zero. Eleven years of peace follow. Very nice, very nice. Chapter one is complete. 
Oh, Goodman, I have to say, you became a bard. I don't know if you've seen. Wait, does it remove one card? I think, maybe? I... I don't think I met these monsters or these. During the years of peace, the Gorgon's mark grew and crossed it over the co to cover one side of Zeus's face. It would be a grim reminder of the encounter that day in the Telel Vigil Barn. Oh, Zeus, I'm so sorry, but you have a cat at, at least. Oh, you see, you're a bard. <laughs> Zeus and Goodman enjoy talking about the old days over a campfire. Zeus would always exaggerate how many monsters she had slain at each battle, but Goodman didn't feel the need to correct her. A spoony bard at that. Yeah, a spoony bard. <laughs> Repairing the physical damage done to Well of Tom wasn't hard. But coaxing the magic back into it required weeks of meditation and spell work from Goodman. When Goodman came down with a case of wild bark fever, Octa would come by to clean the place and handle the soup pot. How are your joints? Better? <laughs> oh wow! Oh, wow, wow, wow. So Buzzing has a mace and they can have a better mace. Or a sword. No, I think a better mace would be good. What else do we need though? Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Goodman, but I think we need to change the spoon, soup spoon, to an actual wand, if you don't mind. Ooh. What are these things? <gasps> A shuriken! Throwing knives. Hmm. 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 You could have a shield with your thing. Oh, a throwing net. It has served its purpose. It served many a victory to us. Oh, indeed. And I bet its retirement will be as glorious as its, as its glory days. But now it's time for it to retire with the fine China. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's maybe give you a slightly better wand. Yeah, let's craft this. You're going to have a stick. You could have a better stick, but it's also using metal. But I was hoping to get a better weapon for... Um, for... Jesus, buzzing. But it costs all of our metal. So yeah, let's craft it. Toe song. We had the toe thresher, so let's go with a toe song. A powerful... Toe crushing. Uh, crushing mace. Yes. Beautiful. Great. And I think that's good. I'm not going to remove your pickaxe. Don't worry about that. Let's leave this as it is. I was thinking about making um, making Octa into like a short range fighter, but I think we're good. Hmm. 
you can get a better... Shade Howl of Jim. Yes. A stick is a stick, so long as it's sturdy, I'll, it'll do the trick. <laughs> you have better clothes. Huh. <gasps> Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Everybody has at least... Wait, I was supposed to give you a better item as well. Okay, let's do this. Dredge of Moon. Abolisher of the Woe. <laughs> hmm. Evoluthic Dark Fel Fletch. I like this name. It barely goes through my mouth. <laughs> okay, everybody has at least one item with a star, but I think I would give you, Goodman, something better to wear. Let's see, this one gives you half a point of armor, more warding, and more spell damage. This is a better, this is a better armor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with better armor. There we go. Let's go with that. And can we also get something for Octa here? Yes, we can. Then let's do it. All right. Octa volunteer their three days to deciphering the epicrest. If this is true. It hasn't always gone smoothly, and progress has mostly dripped along. The meanings of the weird stone have remained inscrutable for years. But today, something in their research slides into place. Legend begets legend. And they can now guess where their enemies might be. It explains why we've had a few years of relative peace. Do you see what I mean? Here, imagine you're trying to raise an army. What's the first thing you do? Raise an army? Right, an army out of just normal folks. I suppose I would start with a grand idea, a way for them to become, you know, what everyone wants to be, heroes. A symbol. You would want a symbol to ra rally support, wouldn't you? Especially if your people are ancients and set in their ways. Huh? So you're saying our Ulstrix, our master of Gorgons, needs this thing? What? What is this? Some kind of divine spear? As a symbol to help convince the other Gorgons to follow it? Yes, I believe that's what I believe. And why does it need to do that? Why does it need the spear? Or why does it need the support of others like, like it? What is Ulstrix? I know, it's like spotting the ocean from a mountaintop. And all the land between is mist. We'll navigate as we go. I was able to find other record of Epicrist. Rubbings. That was my first clue. An epicrist is like an ancient storytelling device, a way for telling a time-honored myth, but maybe in a different order or fashion. That's what I think. And... But anyway, sorry, I'm getting swept up. I checked the story elements here against some of our older legends. You know that telltale? Kind of a poem or a song in some places? Queen of the Seas? No, but get to the point. Our stone tells almost the same story. Almost. And according to our version, the spear was laid to rest in a named cavern. It's on uh, one of our maps. So that gives us an advantage, right? We know where it is. But they've got a pretty big head start, so... I don't know if it has anything to do with this, but Gorgon sightings are picking up again. Now seems like a good time for us to get started. We've all changed, remember? All the havoc those things caused and we couldn't stop them. But we're ready this time, aren't we? 
We'll fight for all free life. We'll fight wild and doubtless, clear-hearted. The shadows deepen. All monster group will draw an extra monster card in every battle. No, that sounds hard. Ah, but I think we finished chapter one and I um, I think I'm safe to say that we will continue next time because I need to go to bed. I'll be, you know, I'll be spending a long evening tomorrow, like probably most of us. So let me bring you here. <laughs> we haven't lost anyone. Yeah, we haven't lost anyone. Everybody survived. Everybody is alive. <laughs> One person just lost an eye, but it is what it is. Let me see. Who is online? Who can we raid? What is this? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Opal Streams! I haven't seen Opal in a while. Let's rate them. Opal is uh, streaming right now uh, Cozy Grove, which is a game that I also am interested in. So let's rate them. Let's wish them a uh, happy new year. Let's shoot them with our lasers and such. And I hope I'll see you next time soon. I am not streaming on Sunday because I'll probably be healing uh, a headache uh, induced by I have no idea what. <laughs> so, guys, to everyone, Happy New Year. I hope I'll see you again soon. And I hope it brings you nothing but joy and ev everything good and nice and what whatever you wish for. So, yeah. I'll see you next year, I guess. <laughs>